Hello, good evening, everybody. We're uh, Fables and Flumps back for our, our lovely uh, homebrew fifth edition campaign that Hooray. we play every Saturday. Hooray. Our shit show campaign. Woo. Our shit show. It's a lovely shit show, but a shit show nonetheless. It may be a shit show, but it's our shit show. Mm -hmm. uh, we will. Uh, we will be getting a uh, one Ivar later on. He is, uh, he's running late. We'll, uh, we'll introduce him when he gets here, but uh, for now, I'm just going to set everything up and uh, give us a, a quick recap on last week's session. So, uh, please hold while I find <coughs> music to stream to the group. I quickly pause it because it's very loud. <laughs> what you mean you don't want to blow out your eardrums i don't want to blow out anybody's ear <laughs> chair not my not not my model <laughs> join that momentarily mm. but uh yes Hi. welcome everybody where we uh Last left off, the the group made a, a a wonderfully atrocious beeline through the safer waters of uh, uh between Barthetten and uh, uh, uh between Barthetten and Gabrina all the way up um through the uh, through the eye of torment uh, they discovered the silver cup. A, a home base and teleporter platform uh, previously owned by Renandula and uh, narrowly avoiding several combats with some uh, incredibly lucky rolls uh, made their way uh, up to the northern the northern islands of the Vandash and uh, have found themselves just just off the coast of Mordengale, right, right off of the uh, the docks of Arisloth. Oh. Um, if you uh, if you want any more extra details, we have a VOD channel. I, uh, I upload uh, right now. I'm I'm uploading every Wednesday. That seems to be uh, more efficient uh, with uh, with with people viewing. So, well, there you go. But uh, I've been I've been I've been I've been quietly experimenting with the VOD date. <laughs> um Sunday was not great. Um Thursday was okay and Wednesday has seemed to be the best so far. But uh Yeah. Uh you all have made it uh I'm gonna turn this down some more. It is loud. This is loud on my end. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah. The crew found themselves just just outside of Arisloft, uh, floating in the in. in the neutral waters just before the bay opens up, and you see uh, stretched before you a rather busy port city. Um, a, uh, the majority of the city is along this coastline with a small river uh, down the center of it, um, but. The majority is a uh, of what you can see at the moment is a long expanding dock uh, stretches like uh, three miles or so uh, east and west. This is a sprawling uh, city. It does not stand nearly as high. It does not have any walls that you can see of really from this distance. Um. However, one thing does uh, pique your interest is somewhere in the middle of the city, a singular tall uh, silver stone and steel construction, a massive tower uh, with currently five skyships attached to it. Oh. Ooh. I immediately... Uh take myself out of communication of the group now that we're at a major city where this might be useful and I cast sending. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait. 
every time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Immediately. I know the answer, but who are you casting sending to? <laughs> uh, I'm sending it to my mother. Uh -huh. And I am asking if we have any contacts in Eris Loft that uh, might help me gather information. Or, flip side, enemies I need to avoid. <laughs> <laughs> you get back... Not really a contact, but an ally, uh, Grimwald Bolter. He is the head of Long Eye Logistics and a partner of ours. Uh, if you need to find him, seek the Enora's Razor. Can I get that name written down? Okay, I'm going to ask a really stupid question. Uh huh. Is it 2022 or 2023? 2023. It's 2023, Rose. Okay. We that are a third it. of the way through the year. That was it. <laughs> I read my clock wrong because it says it, it's the 22nd of April. Yep. Uh, I worry yeah. about you sometimes. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm constantly, you know what? I don't even, I'm so, I'm so worried about me that I don't worry about me. There you go. Grimwald Bolter, oh, the shipping company, uh, Long Island Logistics. You outsourced your worrying. <laughs> okay, gotcha. To 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 the United States. <laughs> <clears throat> you should have been here when Brandon and I were talking about the alchemy system. Oh boy! Oh, boy. <laughs> I <laughs> thought he was gonna. Oh. No. <laughs> anyway. But yeah. We're not. We're not going to touch that one. <laughs> Y'all are. That was an entertaining nightmare. You know, they're coming no, we are going to touch that port. one. It's going to be very interesting because I have an idea. Uh, just as the just as the sun rises, uh, the one of the crew rings the bell uh, to uh, draw the attention of those sleeping. Um, and you all uh, see just as the, uh, just as the sun comes over the city. I'll show you a little map now. Yeah, you always have to have a world, a little city map. Honestly, I love the fact that we have city maps because everything. I awesome. also love that we have city maps. Uh, I, and I also love that we have the squished plum bob <laughs> as our part. Would you be willing to share a version? I think plum bob is copyrighted. What was that, Alex? Would you be willing to share a version of this in the Discord? I like having these maps so, sure. so that I can reference them later on. Post this in picture right. I do. Where is the file located? Fun fact, my dad uh, has a undying hatred of the Golden Girls. Is it because they're not called the Silver Girls and they're all have silver hair? No, he just he doesn't like them. He doesn't think it. They're funny. They're 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 a little vulgar, a little crass, but they're funny. They've got good. They've got good stories to tell. All right. All right. I don't know if I've actually missed anything. Yeah. Uh, uh, no. After I get the the sending, I had to swap headphones because they were dying. Excellent. Oh no. <laughs> um. And uh, just so you can, uh, just for your own mental image, uh, just because the, the generator that I use has some limitations to it, uh, the coast does not come down in a straight line following the uh, the edge of the map. It keeps going to the, to the left uh, okay. there. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I, I assumed. <laughs> I was like, no, I can't delete these. <laughs> so, but... Uh, but yeah. Uh, is there anything you're doing or are you pulling in? I think we're getting straight to it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, similar Onward. to uh, some other port cities, uh, there's a sort of line. Uh, <clears throat> you slow the ship. Uh, essentially put it in park, put the, uh, you know. Put the uh, put an anchor down, and you wait your turn to be brought in but by these. Okay. Uh, 
However, the city is a little different. Um, instead of uh, assist by sea drakes or uh, other little pontoon boats, um, you watch as these uh, metallic cranes sort of hover out over, attach across the top of the ship, and you watch as the, the ship sort of begins being able to strafe and move sideways almost like uh, someone's directing it um like it's like the ship is a cargo <laughs> oh it's, so it's like cargo it's like a, it's like a big have you ever seen those big cargo cranes that grab like the the giant uh shipment boxes sort of like that <laughs> they uh they they readjust their fitting as they need to and um don't seem to damage anything, but uh, uh, it's an odd sensation to have your boat go sideways at almost full speed. Um, but uh, eventually, you are you are. I, I fetch our paperwork. Your your boat is pulled around backwards and docked backwards uh, in a manner uh, fitting only of like the best uh, <laughs> ship, ship captains able to do. Um, slides smoothly backwards into a, a slot at the port. <laughs> um, do you see uh standing there a uh with a, a small little uh purple lapel, um, a little uh bow tie attached to his uh neck, a uh a seven foot. Uh, iron forged. <clears throat> hmm. He's standing there with a paper clip and a, uh, a little uh, bottle of ink and a, and a quill. <laughs> As you uh, <clears throat> exit with your paperwork, you know. greeting, citizen. Business or pleasure? Uh, pleasure. <laughs> he flips the thing like three sheets of paper and scribbles something down. Name of the ship? Oh, what is it? Maelstrom's <laughs> one, I remember. <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> yeah. Captain in uh, or person, guardian in charge of the ship? Uh, just go through me. It's fine. <laughs> And you are? It's a kind of a shift based process. Shift <laughs> Betty so desperately wants to just yell at you. <laughs> uh Hessel Blackwater. Right, um, if only I wasn't a wanted pirate. Imagine <laughs> you just give your name to this guy. <laughs> your documents and registration for the ship? Hand it over. He he watches this green beam passes over all these papers, he flips through them. Effortlessly hands them back pretty quickly. Write some things down. <clears throat> Docking fee is one gold. And one gold every day you wish to stay here. Uh, we do have some uh, better access docks across the way at the entrance of the river, if you wish. Those are three gold a day. Just generic parks is fine. <laughs> We don't you know. load up much. How long are you in willing to stay, or wanting to stay? I think we'll play it safe and uh, put a week down. Mm -hmm. He sticks out a hand, and, and a little repository descends into the hand. Seven gold, please. I hand it over. It just it shing, 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 like disappears into the hand one at a time. <clears throat> Very well. And he writes up something really quick and hands you a a notice of uh of the the lot and where you are docked. Now I do have a friend in town, so I'm hoping you might be able to point me in the direction. I'm kind of scanning to see if there's a sign since it's a shipping company. Maybe it's just visible, anyways. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can make a perception check if you wish. Sure, I'll make. I guess I'll make one, but I'm asking anyway. Okay. If you could point me towards Long Eye Logistics. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, perception. Thirteen. Yes. Mm. That sounds familiar. I believe it is across the way. Uh, the the Milk Run District, on the other side of the river. All right. Appreciate it. You don't see anything that looks like. <clears throat> but uh, he, he kind of just gives a little bow and walks away. That slow, like mechanical, <clears throat> the slow mechanical trot. All right. We all good to go? I believe so. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Right. As we do with every uh, shore leave, I will I will pay out the crew. Uh, how many people do we have now? We lost somebody. We lost Janiah. So <laughs> it's... Oh. I need to pull out this, up this document real quick. Uh, okay. One. Two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> six is the answer. <laughs> um, I will give everybody six. I will give everyone 100 gold. <clears throat> All right, I will subtract 600 from the... We have so much money. <laughs> we do. Uh, Sounds like we're going to be getting a new boat soon. Yeah, something to think about. If we it, if we really want a spring for it, we could pay to have it built, so we could have like custom specifications rather than simply purchase one off the lot, as it were. Hey. I mean, that'd probably be a good idea. I feel like that would be more expedient. Plus, I think it uh, will give Saywin some fun to uh, experiment with some of the stuff you've learned. <laughs> I know everywhere we go, we you buy ship building books. Oh. Not just that, I've been doodling quite a bit every time we're in a port. Always something to learn. Well, there certainly probably be a, a lot to learn here. Very magical place. <laughs> Aye. It's All not right. like any sort of magic I've ever seen. Alright, I, I contacted my mother this morning, and we do know someone in town that I suppose we could head straight to to try and get a bead on um uh this daughter we're looking for, but we could also just take in the sides for a while. Either or I I mean honestly I'd rather just kinda relax and see the city for a bit. We can do business afterwards, but new place, right? <laughs> sure. Also uh Unbeknownst to Willow, but to everybody else, uh, I'll ask Rose, Betty, what is, uh, what is, what is different about Willow today? <laughs> oh, no. Because <laughs> it's pretty say, obvious um, to everybody else. <laughs> it's pretty obvious to everybody else, but, um, I would say, you know, you see a lot of greens in the Feywild, you see a lot of blues, you see, you know, reds, that's not... That's not very fun. I think that um, I think black would be a good hair color for Willow. Oh! <laughs> oh, you did it! <gasps> How did you do that? Uh, I remember not... when we were varnishing everybody's rooms. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> that doesn't make sense, though. <laughs> I'm not going to give you the methodology. I mean, Willow doesn't sleep. Yeah, Willow doesn't sleep. How did you get this by me? You do You do have to meditate over. I do. Mm -hmm. like... You're only half there when meditating. <laughs> Yes, I'm, we're quite proud of that one. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Music is oddly appropriate right now. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, what also, color? And it was bright pink, and it's like, no black. Yeah. 
to uh, to give a general idea of the city, think like um, fantasy 18th century England, like very ooh, um, like Fable. Uh, have you ever played the game Fable? Uh, very Albion esque. Um, lots of stone and wood buildings. Nothing higher than like maybe three stories. Um, a very rustic town uh, sits before you. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll just actually, you know, let me just read this little little excerpt. excerpt. Uh, Arislav sprawls down Aris Harbor and up Melodou River. The town boasts its age with an elegance uh, without feeling pompous. The town, ha- the town houses no castle and the walls of oldness and simple- Simple reminders of a time long since past. The stone bricks and wood timbers coated with a uh, a lot of flowering vines. A singular massive tower stands out from the surrounding modest buildings. A skyship platform for those who wish to trade in Mordengale but are not associated with the Dorwain Empire. So. What sits before you is uh, very fantasy England uh, or English city esque, uh, a large, like sprawling, pretty densely packed, but uh, nice and pleasant looking city. Brandon, can I? I'm going to ask you a question. Real yes, quick. I'm going to message it to you though. Okay, because I just want to know how current this is. All right. Well, I think the talking. the quickest way to get familiar with the town is to head to its marketplace. Certainly, and perhaps. You can... I don't know, observe something, pick up rumors. Also, I want to offload a lot of gems. <laughs> <laughs> and liquidate uh, quite a bit of it. I tried to do as much of that as I could in... Where was our last stop? Bilgepire, I guess? But yeah. Not exactly the largest town. Onward, then. <laughs> Alright, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13. I have 13,000 gold worth of gems to liquidate. <laughs> Good lord. Right. Jesus Christ. Uh, um, Betty's gonna stop for a second before we get off of the boat. She's gonna be like, I just remembered something. <laughs> that being... Which is? <sighs> um, there's... Very, very few not enslaved beast folk here. Are we gonna have to do what uh, we did with Willow back in the FRB? We might. I'm not sure, but um, I. I mean, the robot didn't say anything. No, but if just it was an entire book... cause trouble. It's fairly simple. I would just, just bringing it up, just in case. <laughs> right, so uh, who am I sticking with? I mean, we're all kind of rolling together at the moment. So. Yeah, I, I don't know we if can... that's, that's the best idea, but we'll see. Alrighty. And uh, just, yeah. Good thing I checked that. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Here it's not so bad. The uh, what is the subtitle of the city? The uh, the old crown city is a little, not nearly as uh, aggressive as as other places in Morton. <laughs> mm. However, that's that's good. You all uh. Somebody roll me either a persuasion or an investigation check to ask your way about the city. Can I roll persuasion? I haven't done that in a long time. Sure. Or I just need one person. Okay. I, I, I know I know Hessel's better at it, but I haven't done it in a while. 26? Mm-hmm. 26? More than enough. Yeah, definitely. Um, <clears throat> you are directed towards uh, the the crook of the city right here, this little corner. Um, you're di- directed past uh, 
what they call the foot. Uh, the f- mm-hmm. And uh, make well, yourself. I want them to explain that. Why do you call it the foot? <laughs> because it looks like a foot on the map. Really? Do you have a map? Yes. <laughs> no, you cannot have it. I can't, I the pompous man I was, walks I was away. To get one. <laughs> <laughs> the pompous man walks away after showing you on a map. <laughs> you you can buy one at the market. <laughs> right, well. It does look vaguely like foot. <laughs> In the same way, Italy looks vaguely like, like a boot. <laughs> I assume that's the. Uh... I also yeah, assume. Well, give if someone mm. asks for your map, you could just buy another one. <laughs> But All also, right. special the, about pers- his. the person asking can buy a map. Yeah. yeah, but they're new. They may not know where to buy a map. He knows where to buy a map. Well, he's giving us directions to the marketplace. <laughs> so I'm trying to make him the bad guy here. <laughs> Listen, just because you came across somebody for the first time and were in Air's love, they're not the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, they are now our nemesis for the entire campaign. <laughs> they didn't have a name. Oh, yeah, he can't as be nemesis. He left, I use my I mm. use my right hand to scratch the back of his neck. If he drops, <laughs> he turns into a pebble. <laughs> you monster! <laughs> no. You're gonna use their one for a day. <laughs> Yes, you uh, you were directed to uh, the uh, what was it the Melodu Markets. This whole section here, uh, going up to here, are all uh, bazaars. All the, the the two black squares are bazaars. Um, everything else is. At the residential, like, um, or not residential, like commercial, uh, like buildings or, or shops or, you know, <laughs> places to buy pastries, uh, restaurants, that sort of thing. Um, right in the heart of the city, right, right, right by the riverside. <clears throat> so, uh, anything, anything your heart desires, you'll find it here. So, what, uh, what are you doing first? I try to sell 13 separate gems, all worth a thousand gold each. <laughs> uh, there is a, uh, a jewelry shop that's right off of the, uh, a, r- r- a rather nice jewelry shop that's right off of the river, uh, that will buy all of them from you. Oh, crazy. Um, you know, they'll happily take them from you at market value, because guess what? You, they can make lots of jewelry, and that will make them more money. So, uh, mark down. You said thirteen thirteen thousand gold. Yeah, and we could. I think we should just divide this between us. Okay. They they ask you to give them an hour to uh, go to a, a, a secure location and to bring back. Uh, that money is that the I was fair, gonna say if they had fair amount of thousand gold on their property, because <laughs> I mean, is, from the look of this place, five, 2600. Sounds good to me. Everyone wants, 20, yeah, I mean, I'll take gold. Gold. yeah, all right. Um, and yeah, they, so? they don't have that much gold on them, Rose, because specifically, uh, this two story, uh, jewelry shop has probably a million gold worth of jewelry in it and some very heavily armored guards <laughs> uh, by, by the way i want to do like a, <sighs> a scan around the market to see if i can find thieves can't uh sure make a uh, make an investigation check Sixteen. Uh, I'll pump it. Ooh, not quite twenty. It's twenty six hundred. 
Yeah. Yeah. Or 260 yeah. platinum. Cool, cool. Um, <clears throat> you, uh, you begin, as you're looking through the city, uh, the only thieves can't you see is very, very old and weather-worn. It, uh, doesn't it's either been marked that way for quite a long time or hasn't been updated in quite a long time. Gotcha. But, uh, the, a lot of the marks you do see don't seem to, uh, to match, um, what you do see, like the one, this one, the one on this building does on the uh, on the jewelers. Um, it says uh, <laughs> no go heavily guarded, which sure. th- there's there there are about twelve guards in plate mail, um, standing around and uh, and two warforged standing uh, on either side of the corners of the city. So like uh, the street up outside. So. Um, just a little well armed. <laughs> okay. Can I? Are, are we? Are we? Are we breaking to go shopping? I mean, you're all in. I mean, we're at the market. Okay. Yeah. Then, um, uh, can I see if there's any place that sells like fashion objects, objects, clothing? <laughs> fashion I was saying, clothing. I was saying, well, it depends on what you're looking for, because. If you're looking for um, fashion objects that are jewelry, you are at, at a store. But if you're looking, I for- mean, what what's new in the whole uh, Dorwayne uh, Dorwayne styles? Uh, make a perception check. Okay. Perception. Um, well, I bet he's but he's like I want new clothes. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Uh huh. You look around, um, and. Man, that bird brain just keeps focusing on the pretty shiny armor that everyone's wearing. Everyone's wearing this, like, um, very, I wouldn't call it futuristic, but very magitech uh plate armor that has these, like, runes that run up and down the seams on this, like, deep, deep blue, almost purple runes. Um... And, uh, I mean, some people are wearing, like, nice long dresses, uh, but, uh, man, that armor's real shiny. <laughs> but, uh, you're still for free to go shopping wherever you wish. There's, uh, definitely a couple, uh, Louis Vuitton-esque places nearby. Interesting. Is there a white wolf here? There you how do you know White Wolf? <laughs> no, but I'm... Well, no, because they went bought a guitar from there, right? Yeah, yeah, but does Betty know White Wolf? Betty Betty probably doesn't know what White Wolf is, but if there's a department store, she probably is like, that's a department store. I mean, it's not a department store, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I mean... I'm, pro- I'm fishing. That's all. Probably wouldn't be a White Wolf here. White Wolf is more targeted towards, like, common folk. Is these... This is not. This is uh, just about near, uh, you know, like mid class going to like Rodeo Drive. I was going to say, this is some Beverly Hills shit, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um, now damn, I desperately but- want to go to one of those high end clothing mm-hmm. stores just to fuck shit up. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't recommend trying to uh, fuck things up like you did in Blackwater here, but, you know, oh. they each their own. I mean, that situation turned out fine. <laughs> sure. Those kids are just going to need a little bit of therapy. Sure. <laughs> it, it, it turned out well after a significant amount of time. Mm-hmm. Okay, I should probably go and sell the shit that I was going to sell. You know, when I head to a magic shop next? Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Do we see anybody looking at a uh, say one or Betty? Uh, make a perception check. 
I'm asking all the questions. I mean, perception's not terrible. Can Betty. I also make a perception no. check? Uh, sure. Betty. I don't know roll two twos. And now I got a three. No, no. Nobody seems to be, be paying you any mind at all. But, uh, <clears throat> you're... You are brought a uh, the the large um, a four four warforge come walking down the street with a chest. Uh, they walk into the store, they drop it off, and they walk away. <laughs> you are presented with your uh, your platinum, which you divvy up, and then uh, yeah. Okay. Do uh. Wish to head to a magic item store. I uh, need either perception or investigation check. Can I ask for a receipt? Sure. You are given a receipt. I'll do investigation. <laughs> Mark down that you have a receipt for 13 gems with a thousand gold each. 19. All right. 19. Uh, you spot down the street a uh, uh, an interesting building. Um, you spot what looks like uh, it's it stands out because it doesn't match the color scheme of any of the other buildings. It's a uh, a marble building trimmed with uh, trimmed with these gold lines that he watches these like little tracers of light follow down them and disappear into the floor and then reappear from the roof. This obelisk square building uh, stands uh, on a street corner uh, roughly by itself. Uh, and you see uh, uh, you see it uh, every now and then flashes between uh, what you uh, you would recognize as Dwarven and then to common, uh, called the treasure trove. Okay. Seems to be uh, the nearest magic item shop. Yeah, let's go in. Okay. Mm-hmm. The group heads that way. Uh, you walk through the uh, <clears throat> the large plate glass doors with the uh, the like bronze handles through them, and as you uh, you enter the <clears throat> smell of smoke and fresh baked bread hit your nose as you see uh, this low level or high level lying layer of smoke in the ceiling. With a uh, like a vented chimney at the top, uh, a forge at the back of this room, um, and these shelves and stalls and little dais holding um, like projections of magic items. Mm. You hear the uh, the ping. Of a hammer on metal. Uh, seems to be muffled magically. Um, but you can still hear it like echo kind of dimly through the hole. This little ping, 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 which it should be deafeningly loud as this closed marble, uh, like column of a building. <laughs> But uh, after a moment, if you do nothing, a uh, <clears throat> a dwarf stands up from his position in the back, kind of waves, and you see a rune appear. And as he's talking, his voice gets louder. He's like, <laughs> "You're just gonna stand in the door all day?" Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I'll go into the <laughs> shop. And get out of the way of the door. <laughs> Is that really anything you're looking for? Or are you just you're just gawping. 
Uh, uh, specifically, no. We're uh, browsing. <laughs> All right. Just. I mean, if you uh, if you're looking to buy some things, we got some extra uh, crap. I'm always work willing to make deals and buy magic items. What have you got? He uh, takes off his gloves and comes and walks over to the counter proper. What are you? What are I'll, you um, looking to sell? Do we have any party items to sell first? I'm, I'm looking through. I'm not sure we actually do. I think we I mean, unless we, we want to sell the walk. Oh, how much is Mountain Eater worth that pickaxe? <laughs> you uh, a dwarf? While wielding, you have proficiency in masonry slash mining checks, and in using the weapon, can cast Mover three times a day. It's a plus two war pick. <laughs> you present this. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> He's just good. Oh, okay. Oh, goodness. Um. <sighs> he. Pulls on. He takes off his big, thick, like uh, welding-looking goggles and puts on these much more dainty, uh, <clears throat> clearly dwarven-made uh, goggles that have these little lenses. And he pulls down a couple of them, looks at it. Hmm. Oh, we've got a, a pretty, pretty nice artifact here. What uh, you willing to sell? For the rat price, I'd be willing to buy something like this for seven thousand gold. Can I roll appraisal to see if this guy's ripping me off? Sure. One, two. Okay. That sounds like a pretty good deal. <laughs> sounds like a pretty good deal. I mean, it sounds good to me. <laughs> Not like we're using it. Deal. He reaches his hand over the counter to shake. <laughs> Alright. And we'll add that to party fun. He slides it down. He slides it down on his side of the counter. He goes, is there anything else you're looking to, uh, before I go open in the vault and all that business? Well, I'm, I know I have a, at least one item I want to part with. I don't know if uh, anyone else does, but... I mean, I got a few. And I'll put down my, uh... My, the Moon Reaver Viridium Longsword. It's not technically magical, but it is, like... Yeah. It's just it a effects, Weird so material. I don't know if you'd be good to, buying Good it. to use to enchant something on it. Yeah, and the breastplate. Mm. Oh, I have I guess splint fire-resistant armor? Sure, that's good. I don't think anyone else uses heavy armor. I do not believe. Uh, no. no. N literally no one. <laughs> Alright, I will... I don't know uh... that anyone's strong enough. Well, Betty's strong enough. Hey. <laughs> Nah, but Betty can't could not fly Betty. and use heavy armor. I know, but I'm strong enough. So for the for so I'll just say he'll he he pays out so that I'm not having to do extra math on adding stuff up. He pays out the seven thousand for the the pickaxe. So okay. wherever that needs to go, and then I'll just do y'all individually so that we're not. Mm. Yeah. Uh. So for. A total of uh, twelve hundred or twelve thousand and twenty five gold for the things you want to sell for Betty or for everybody for Betty for oh wow twelve thousand twenty five yeah. Uh, can I haggle in the event that he has something in the store that I may want to buy? So I'm giving him his. I'm giving him my business, and I'm sending my coin here. I mean, you can certainly you can certainly try. <laughs> Maybe roll a persuasion check. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, because I sent you the things I'm interested in. But... Yeah. 
Oh god, where the fuck is Betty? Betty, roll the persuasion check. 18. 18. Mm. Well, I could give it. depends on what you're willing to. But right any, now, the deal. Any magical ammunition you got? Um, one of those luck stones that he has, and she'd point at Hessel. <laughs> I mean, well, it's two, there's two different magic items. Do you want the lucky charm or the luck stone? <laughs> it's it's two different things. Mm -hmm. Which one gives you the additional roll? Well, there's there's the the luck stone <laughs> is plus one to everything. I think to all ability checks and saving throws. Oh wow! Okay. Then. And I think that's like five five thousand on the same magic item sheet or whatever. Definitely and more. My world. <laughs> and then there is the I have the lucky charm, which is once per day I can add a d six to I think an ability check. Well, that, that's the one I think I'm it's looking saving for. throw, ability check, or attack roll. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking for the lucky charm and some ammo. He's like, I mean, I I'll certainly trade you for. Those things. And I mean, I obviously want excess coin as well. But it's like, well, then you can just buy it. I don't know what. Yeah, the... yeah. Okay. Let's not worry about the tags in right now. Then just do the trade. Yeah. Okay, I'll just coin. do the trade and get my twelve thousand. And then you'll work out what you're getting later. Mm -hmm. Can get my twelve thousand. Yes, he, he, he will. He will happily trade you twelve thousand for five thousand. No. <laughs> my money. Yeah. So. Add that, and then we can subtract when we get to it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody else selling? Say one's got the. Say one was here. Scale mail of fire resistance. Uh, armor of fire resistance splint. Splint. In oh, let me. That's so much money. The ND Beyond won't add it. Yeah. <laughs> That's not true. <clears throat> That's so little compared to what we had last game. I know, but I put a comma in it, and it wouldn't like it. Didn't like it. Yeah. yeah, don't put a comma in it. I know, but I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm That's being, why it I'm, won't add it. I'm being cheeky. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Armor. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm looking for right. Uh, flint armor resistance fire. I'd be I'd be willing to uh, give you about five thousand gold for that one. Can I make an appraisal check to see if Saywin's being cheated? Sure. I was going to do insight to see if he's... Yeah, that'll me. probably be a better result than mine, but we'll both roll. Yeah. Oh, oh 19. Um, on the high end for splint that is resistant to fire, uh, you would probably appraise it somewhere, Essel, on the, in the range of 7,000, 7,500. No. Okay, so that's what he'll sell it for. Come now, I'm sure you you can add a little bit more <laughs> wiggle room in there. Have an extra five hundred for my friend. <laughs> Persuasion check. We both know what it's worth. <laughs> oh, I'm going to also buff this. <laughs> Uh, Psionically, that's a twenty-three. Fifty-five hundred. As high as I can go on it. Probably be lucky to get about seven thousand. All right. Sounds like we all profit then. <laughs> you uh. Fifty-five hundred. Yeah, he hand over the armor. He sticks his hand up to shake. I'm gonna look at the hand warily. 
He goes, all right. But and he kind of wipes it on his shirt and it gets dirtier. <laughs> I'll laugh and shake his head. <laughs> I will also sell two items. Oh. You will sell my beloved used twice total Cape of the Mountbank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've had one of these with every one of my D&D &D characters so far. <laughs> yep. All three of them. All, yeah. Yep. All oh, yeah, because Taylor had it too. Yep. And, uh,. My, I will take off my headband of minor intellect. <laughs> you feel a wave Since of I'm lethargy and dumb. Smarter <laughs> or dumber without it. <laughs> <laughs> you are uh, unattuned to both, or or to the one. Yeah, nothing's not attunement, which is I think why it's worth so much. And you put to them aboard the the counter, which uh, <laughs> I'll offer you nine thousand for both. How about we keep up the courtesy five hundred? Nine to five hundred. He furrows his brows a little bit. Yes. <clears throat> You're a good talker. I don't like that. All right. <laughs> can I uh? Can I do an evaluation to see if I was potentially getting the money's worth since before he goes and he actually gets the money? Sure. <laughs> not not that I think. I mean, honestly, I don't know. It would have to be an insight. Because I don't think she doesn't even have appraisal. Well, you didn't. Well, right? it's it's either insight or appraisal. Appraisal, if you're not proficient, is just straight in. Yeah, then I'm just gonna do. Because I know this place might be a little racist. So. Um, I mean. I don't think he is, but you know. He he seemed pretty honest in in what he offered you. Then I feel confident in this. Yeah. He doesn't seem to be trying to cheat anybody. He just wants to be able to resell these things and make a profit. <laughs> All right. Now, I also do have one final item, but even though this is on my character sheet, I feel it's more a party item since I literally never wore it. No, I think I wore it once. Uh, this, is, this isn't magical. It's just a good base for something. I take out the mithril chain shirt. <laughs> His eyes go a little wide. Mithril, huh? Uh, traveled group, huh? That's how we get by. Oh. And we're doing pretty well for ourselves, I'd say. Mithril loans worth the... anything that needs to get done around town. Well. <clears throat> yeah. Make a make a persuasion check on that one. Look up. Well, Brandon generates a quest. Twenty-four. I can boost if necessary, but mm. I don't know that it's necessary. Um, mithril chain. Why not? I love boosting. Uh, this is why I want that rock. Twenty-five. Well, this is also ionic. I haven't used my rock yet. Yeah, I know, but I mean, I have the ability. But I it's don't very have useful. Like it's next. very nice to be able to be like, okay, I'll add a d6. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. mm. There have been a few weird things around town. I'd say weird things are our specialty, so. <laughs> You're not kidding. There've, uh... Look out on the farmlands. There's, uh, there's been a couple people, or... or Ask around up there. I don't know the specific details, but there have been people disappearing up there. You know if there's an actual job listing, or is this something that yes, oh, I, sure needs to be done? There's probably a job listing somewhere. That's not my. Uh, that's not my specialty. 
certainly something we can look into. Absolutely. No problem. Uh, and uh, for a Mithril chain shirt, he's willing to offer you 750 gold. All right. Sure. Just start in the party fund. All right. Better keep track of uh, how much money you're getting and subtracting your items. Seven, 750 gold? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Anyone else trading anything in? Before we get to the buy-in? <laughs> Our potential buying? How much for Nor? Mm. <laughs> you, uh, you cannot sell this quest item. <laughs> you cannot sell this quest item. Did I give Willow that magical writing pen? I don't remember. Uh, yes. Okay. Who? Cool. That's Ooh. it. <laughs> Does he want a silver vase of unknown value that was definitely not stolen? I mean, I included that in what you were okay. selling him. So. Okay. <laughs> Is that where the 25 came yeah. from? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got anything to offload, Willow? Um, shockingly, no. I tend not to take the random things we find. They're fun to use sometimes. <clears throat> uh, let me list out these items. Oh, uh, I forgot I bought Crocs at some point. <laughs> you did I don't do remember. That. It just says to be given to someone at some point. Because <laughs> I can't even use them. <laughs> what is the ring of x-ray vision? Let's see, look through stuff. <laughs> Is it good though, or is it like once a day you can do this for like one minute? I think you just see through. I'm just gonna list the prices that you sent me, Mad, as okay. The you know in the same order that you. Yeah, um, that, that's what I, I, I expected. Does the dwarf want Crocs? Dwarf does not. Want that's understandable. Yeah, really, you don't have that spell? It's not very good. <laughs> Do you remember those little like bobbles that you could uh, you could put on your rocks? Yes. Man, Maybe. I miss when life was like that. Those are great. So much simpler. I've uh, never owned a pair of Crocs. Uh, neither have I. Uh, my sister. Uh, if you didn't have a pair of Crocs in 2006, you were not a cool kid. That's not true. <laughs> I didn't know they existed way back then. <laughs> when they were did, Crocs made? They did not get cool here until about 2013. No, no. Crocs, Crocs, Crocs are ahead of the time. That's not true. <laughs> That's yeah, not true. Yeah, he, here they did not get cool until about 2013, and then everyone wanted a pair. Um, because they so were founded in 2002. They were, and they were, it did they were get a, popular in 2006. They were, they were a grandpa shoe. <laughs> so, yeah, they got common stock in February of 2006. That's when it became cool. Oh yeah, they were they purchased gibbets, which was the yeah, fucking gibbets. thingy. So 2006, I was right. I nailed it. <laughs> the despair. How much are boots of speed? Those are probably on the list, huh? Also, I really appreciate the fact that all the pictures on the Wikipedia page for Crocs kind of look like crime scene photos. <laughs> <laughs> They may well be. They're crimes against fashion. Yeah. Uh, he does have a pair of boots of speed for 5,000. Oh. I'm considering it. <laughs> the it would be so fast. The difference in the <laughs> price there, man. <laughs> yeah. How about... Uh, the boots of haste. 
<laughs> you'd have you'd, Boots and Haste are legendary. I just... <laughs> the other the other five things by nine to get the final yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so if it's a legendary item, I need you to roll. Uh, choose high or low, and roll a D one hundred to see if it. I was gonna say, are you not trying for the invisibility ring? <laughs> Legendary items do not get sold. Oh, very yes. <laughs> I thought I thought you were responding to a message. No. <laughs> uh, sure. I'll roll for both of those: ring of invisibility and the boots of haste. Uh, low for both. All right. All right. Uh, which one am I rolling first? I guess in the order. So haste and then invisibility. Sure. Fortunately, he does not have either. Um, but uh, he can, can uh, appraise them for you if you want to know how much that they'd roughly go for. <laughs> or if you just want to wait and see if you get them later. <laughs> uh, I'd rather not know. Okay. <laughs> Not unless it's an option, and then I can agonize over it then. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, while we're buying stuff, I will. Willow's gonna come up to the the counter with just a pile of spell scrolls. Mm -hmm. Um, please, please. Ah, <laughs> oh, wizard buying all my spell scrolls. Not the first time. All right. <laughs> yeah. Brings you up for uh, whatever that is. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was four, 1480. Okay. <clears throat> and I will, I will, and the, I'm, I just realized that I never explained why I keep my money in a bag of holding. Uh, stick my hand in, think 148 platinum, <laughs> and pull it out so I don't have to count. <laughs> <laughs> you only get back like 137. You're like, no, fuck. <laughs> you gotta do, I'm not gonna do math. <laughs> but no, no. Um, you uh, you pay for your stuff, uh, Rose. No. You have a list of things. I do have a list of things. You want to buy? Yes. Do you want me to say them out loud? Would Which ones are you buying? Or are you trying to buy? I want to buy the Lucky Charm, and I want to buy the Elemental Ammo. Okay. And... You just doing the, yeah. the, the thing that you you said before, six of each of the yeah, six, six... of each. Six flavors. Okay. So. And let's get two tracking shots for 200. So 4,200 4, would be the number of money, I think. Yeah. Number of money. Uh, under my uh yeah yeah oh, okay shit. then right. I will I will mm -hmm. buy that. Okay. Is there anything else you wanted to look for while you're here? I mean, he doesn't. I've imagined alchemy ingredients are a different store. Yeah, but not the the thing at the very top there, or this other thing, or no the the locket. Yeah, the locket or the. Holy symbol, or... I mean, I'll see if he has the holy symbol, but as we discussed, it may not be as good as it's... I mean, yeah. Um, it's a rare item. I'll say, yeah, he has, he has one. He's got a number of holy symbols that are... Does he have... Does, does he have any... Does he have any... I guarantee you he doesn't have... No, because that's not even a fucking religion. Uh... <laughs> that, but I mean, okay. Let's not even say holy symbol. Let's just say, does he have any gold runners things at all? Uh, roll me d one hundred. Hey, it's Saber. Saber, hello. Uh, seventy-seven. Apologies for the delay. No, you're okay. Yeah. You do this. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna have time to buy it. Otherwise, I'm gonna get the locket too. Okay. Because I want it, and it's it makes me feel better. <clears throat> okay. 
Uh, ready? So those we've already discussed those prices. So yeah, um, he does have the uh, what you call it. Um, he does have the amulet as well. If that's something you wish, um, uh, I think I'm okay. He has a couple scimitars that are gold runners. Uh, they're like plus plus two scimitars. Mm, no. No. <laughs> Does he have a crystal blade? It's from Fizzbonds. Mm -hmm. It's a rare two amendment. Um, uh, it might just be easier to post this rather than me read it. Yeah. Technically, I'll double check. I guess it's better and worse than the Sun Sword. <laughs> because the D8 applies to everything, not just undead, but it's not a plus two weapon. Yeah. So it does more damage, but it's not a. Uh... <clears throat> and also, it doesn't have a cool, like, WAM effect when you activate it. Yeah, it's not a lightsaber, yeah. so it does lose on that as well. <laughs> I'd say, yeah, I'd say he's he's got one in a short sword variety. Or, Not much. Mm. Ooh. I'd say 9,000. I really want a sunblade. It's just not very good. <laughs> but is that okay? Is it okay that it's not that good? It's super yeah. cool. Yeah, it, it it's it's okay if it's not awesome. It just matters that you want it or that you like it. It's true. And when I become the uh, chosen one of Pelor, we all know he's gonna supercharge my weapon. Does he have a sunblade? <laughs> I hope. I hope this, I hope that happens just for your sake, but I also hope it doesn't because that would also be funny. Mm. Either way, it's cool. Does he have a sunblade? Um, roll me a D one hundred. Forty-seven. Forty-seven. <laughs> Close to the number I thought of, so yeah. <laughs> does have one. <clears throat> and how much... I know there was one in a shop earlier. How much did you say it was? The one in the shop before was... 12500 He's charging 13000 for this one. Yeah. Uh, it is a... <clears throat> a black-handled blade with a uh, long... Um, or like a... a like a wider-brimmed uh, crossguard. Uh, ends with two uh, two topaz. <clears throat> okay. I set the boots of speed and the sun blade on the table. <laughs> okay. And then I set. This is a real changing of the blade here. I set my frost brand short sword on mm. the table as well. <laughs> Frostbrand given a Frostbrand. Okay. Mm -hmm. What would you say this deal works out to be? <sighs> sort of turns the Frostbrand to him just to look at it a little and bit. I guess if I'm getting the boots of speed as well, I'll put my boots on the table, which are... 
the Quickling boots, I think they're called. Yeah. They were... You know, I can just scroll up in my messages to tell tell you what I bought them for. Yeah. Because I think that'll be easier. Then you have to come up with it again. <laughs> It was 3000 for these boots. Okay. 3000 Plus, uh, so Frostbrand and the boots together. Uh, it was, so that's about, it offers 5500 for those two. And then... Thirteen thousand and then four thousand for the Sunblade and the Boots of Speed. So seventeen thousand eleven thousand five hundred gold total for the trade. Alright. How about one last courtesy five hundred to make it an even eleven thousand? <laughs> for all the persuasion check. <laughs> 30. 30. Oh my god. He crosses his arms and he kind of he watches his, his eyebrows by themselves kind of like curl up at the ends. And, ah, god damn it. Yes. Last one. <laughs> Sticks his hand up. Right. Shakes your hand. <laughs> Slaps the sun blade in your hand after, <laughs> and grabs the the sword and the the sheath and the quickling boots. Okay, I put on my fancy new boots, and uh, I'll cradle the blade in my hand so I can begin the attunement process. Alrighty. Does he have any shields? He does. Ooh. Lots of different shields. Was it you that wanted an animated shield? Um, I mean, I'm, I would love if he had the, uh, one of those Tarjas, like, uh, Glimmick had. The, the no... The handless shield, yeah, like basically the hard light shield from yeah. uh, Halo Four. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he yeah. does. He does have something called a force caster shield. It's basically a gauntlet, or it fits on like like armor, and uh, yep. you can uh, still hold things while your shield is out, but you can't like manipulate things well so you can still hold things like your holy symbol if you need to or whatever but you can't like pick a lock while your shield's <laughs> but luckily for Taven that's not uh, not not what she's needed for <laughs> how much does it go for uh 4500 and does it interfere with the Curry of the Skyfarer? It does not. All right. And I'm assuming it has the same... Does it have the same bonus as a reg... As it's just a, yeah, it's a regular shield. It just has the, the light property because it's... Um, and so it doesn't take up an arm. Or it takes up your arm, does not take up your hand. Okay. 4,500, you say? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll go for it. Alrighty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's just a, a bonus action to activate, and it stays active for an hour. Um, and it doesn't, it doesn't have any charges. It just you can put it away as much as you need to, but you need to hold on to it for more than an hour at all. Let's do it. This might I'm, be comparable. I'm gonna need the uh, 
item description. When yeah. You get a chance. Yeah. So I remember. Help if I knew how to spell. There we go. <laughs> Alrighty. I believe that's everybody else. Ivor, are you looking for anything magical? I don't even know where I am. So no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any magic items you wish to liquidate? Uh, nope. Pretty sure the only thing I have is my sword and my gauntlet, and those are both pretty nice. Well, there. I think your armor is magic too, but yeah, if there's anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Anything magic you wish to buy, uh, be it ammo or a new crossbow or... Oh, you are uh, tempting me with a new crossbow, yeah. because this one has done me poorly. <laughs> oh, I don't think... You have 2,600 extra gold. Oh, do I? So yes. We, yeah, we sold some stuff and split it. Uh, what do we have in terms of one-handed ranged weaponry? Uh, there's a fair few things. Um, Since I've just arisen from my coma, mm -hmm. I'm not entirely sure where my old man brain is. <laughs> is there like a babble ball for crest? The answer is no. <laughs> um, Asked and answered. I don't think I know what that is. I think I sort of do. <laughs> I would, a babble ball? Trans yeah, that toy that, that was it Bandit was it, playing with the other It's that talks and makes dogs go nuts. Uh, yeah, nothing like that currently exists. <laughs> That's probably a good thing. <laughs> People are not at the magic mouth on a rock. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> uh -huh. Don't mm -hmm. tempt me. Mm, no, you can't cast magic mouth. No, uh, I'll find a way. There's a number of. Uh, hmm. How much additional gold was that, by the way? Twenty-six hundred. Yeah, 2,600. 2,600 gold? Okay. Yeah. Or 260 platinum. I have an offhand thing. Yeah. Right? If you could get the... If you could get a crossbow of certain death, that's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, is that something that may or may not exist in here? No, I'm looking at it... Because I, I was just looking at... I filtered D&D uh, &D Beyond Magic Items by uh, crossbows light. Or is it lighter hand? I think it's hand. I think it needs to be hand for uh, for the one handed, quite literally. I'll refilter and see if it changes, but yeah, it's the same items anyways, because any of them can be any of them. Uh, a weapon of certain death is a rare non attunement item. When you damage a creature with an attack using this magic weapon, the target can't regain hit points until the start of your next turn. Ooh, Ooh that is kind of nice, actually. <laughs> That would not do poorly for my hunter's motif anyway. Um, I guess I will. Oh, that's a critical specific... roll item for my explorers oh, of wild mount. That's why. Yeah, I see that. Dang. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that sounds pretty fucking great. I'll take a look for that. And failing that, I would. I'm open to uh, suggestions from the from the keeper. You've got to uh, use a hand crossbow, correct? Yes, I'm mostly using hand hand crossbows. Just okay. I was making sure it wasn't a, it wasn't really. a, a light crossbow. <laughs> no, I've been using hands. Okay. Bandit, I'm selling you. I'm not selling. Don't you. sell your puppy. Just put a for sale sign on his forehead. He'll get the message. Maybe. Yeah, he will. He no. can't read. No, never mind then. Something you should do though, you should get the little push button thing, like the easy button, that's so you can hit it and it just goes for sale, for sale. <laughs> He'll think it's like to get treats. Good times were had by all. Alrighty. <clears throat> uh, so he does have a couple of um, some, uh, stealth hand crossbows. He's got a plus one hand crossbow, and he does have a hand crossbow of certain death. <laughs> Ooh. 
How much is the search and death? Search and death crossbow is 4,000 gold. I don't have that at the moment, unfortunate. Do you not? Um, I have... Nope. One minute. Oh, I'm burping around over here. I currently have a total in gold pieces. I have 3,445. You, you don't have any platinum? Did you miss a payday? I don't know. Before this payout, before we sold any magic that items, we, uh, no, I, he I added just, that. I just put but that before in Before the payout and before I added any magic items or sold any magic items, I had three thousand. Mm. I mean, I mean, I've also was... bought some. I've also bought some done some. Not what I call it dumb, but not helpful to anybody but myself. Items. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I had like a thousand. A little, or a little under two thousand. Yeah, I had, I, I had, a little, I had a, under two thousand as well. It's all good. I can't afford. I had about, it. I had about. Well, you yeah, know what? Five. Uh, I, I can, since he extended us so many, I could extend you a courtesy five hundred and <laughs> five hundred gold. I mean, five hundred still won't get me there, but it's fine. Will it not? I thought you no. said you had thirty-six. I have thirty-four. Thirty-four fifty. <laughs> okay, you have to haggle. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's fine. Honestly, I barely use the damn thing as it is. Haggle. I could haggle. Okay. Look, I think we we've got a rumor on a job in town. We can come back later. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. Okay. It's all good. Like, yeah, yeah, and he I does have some. He does have some some cheaper crossbows, but that one's that one is. I am, a, uh, nah, it's okay. Okay. I I am old fashioned, and the labeled price is what it is. All right. <laughs> oh, right. You, that's a dumb idea. That's... <clears throat> it exists right. here for whenever you are. You you wish to come back, and I will appreciate that later. Did Saywin get a shield? By the way, yes. Saywin bought the force back shield. That's right. That's right. Yeah. All right. If everyone is satisfied. I guess at this point we have two directions we can split off. One, we can go to my contact in town and try and find out something about our person of interest. Or, as the fine shopkeepers mentioned, uh, there is some disappearances happening uh, towards the farms. We can investigate and see if there's a job listing. My only dissatisfaction is, uh, what's the job? It... All we know is that apparently near the farmsteads to the east, there have been some uh, disappearances. No one knows why. All right. Well, that would be taking. So I us. assume the job would be to find and stop what is causing those things. It would. It would be a, a longer route, but we could do both. Start with your contact here, and then make our way to the east. Yeah. I mean, we could. And who knows, perhaps what information your contact has may prove useful in this venture. That's also true. Might know something. All right. Yeah, to the to the docks it is. Or to the other docks, the ones we were not mm -hmm. at. Yeah, the, the Milk Run District. <laughs> I have so much shit now. <laughs> Hooray! Shit! I've sold my right. excess. I pretty much only have what I use now. Oh. Right. I mean, I just I have a lot of things that I use now. <laughs> and with that, uh, I'm going to call a small three-minute break so I can run ads and go pee and refill my water. And Ooh. then we'll be back to uh, find said contact. Mm -hmm. do, 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 we'll be right back. Though. I'll, I'll leave it on the, the be right back screen, so if you're, if you're subbed, hey, you don't get ads. That's wonderful. Are you right thing for all. All right, so I I just to, I uh, thought. Oh, go ahead. We're investigating some missing uh, some people missing persons. So what over we've done, farm. we we landed, um, decided that the best way to get familiar with the city was to head to the market district. Makes sense. We sold some stuff, just bought some magic items, and I asked the shopkeeper if he knew of any like uh pressing jobs that needed doing around town and that's when he mentioned that there were some disappearances that no one's found out yet okay so i didn't i didn't miss a crazy amount honestly 
No, you know, didn't. It was the mostly only thing shopping. Specifically mentioned was something Betty mentioned where, and I guess it's not even necessarily relevant in this town because it's not that big a deal here, but on this continent, uh, beast people are typically enslaved. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Has that come up for Samwin at all yet? Don't no. So far. Okay. But I was reading through my notes and I was like, there's something about Ardenus that I don't remember what it's, it was. This isn't and Ardenus. I looked and I was this like, is not But we're next to it. This is Dorwain. That's... Or Dorwain, I'm sorry. Yeah. Right, but it's still pretty close. Still, it's still an issue. Well, I still think it's problem, right. I think it's Mordengale, which I think is this continent. Or I guess yeah. island chain, this big yeah, island. And... Yeah, no, is it, the... Mordengale is a sing single island. But mm. this is the first point of entry, so that's probably the most friendly to tourists. Okay. That being a relative term, I'm sure. Oh, um, unrelated to any anything, but j j just uh, for for putting the offer out there, I have spell scrolls, and so if people want to yoink some spell scrolls uh, that I've copied, like. You can do that. Does copying not destroy I thought it destroyed scrolls? them. I no. do not believe it does. I don't know if it did, but August definitely destroyed his. Well, August... Because he fed the them hourglass. to the hourglass. That's right. Yeah. yeah raw, raw copying them just copies them over. But, uh, for any other reasons, uh, yeah... <laughs> August definitely destroyed them because they were free. Yeah, but, uh... Yeah, I've got, uh... One, two, three, four, <coughs> five... Scrolls. Uh, are any of them a scroll of... Uh, Tensor's Transformation? No. <laughs> I mean, if you could just list the scrolls, that'd probably be better. Uh, Investiture of Acid, Sunburst... Uh, those two are six level. Uh, Defy Death, uh, I mean, Hold Monster, Defy. and Scarlet Bloom. Yeah, your class has to be able to know these spells, right? This is true. So, right. No. I, I, as long as you can... Because uh, that's what, you know, that, that's how I've been running it this campaign, or just in general, the homebrew of it is... Uh, if you, as long as you can cast a spell, you can attempt to make a skill check to cast a spell, even if it's a higher level than you can cast. Um, to learn anything from it, it has to match you. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I believe if you fit the criteria to cast a spell outright, you do not have to make a check. Yeah, you can just cast it. And I think that's just default anyways. Yeah, that, that's raw. So if you are a uh, cleric, I believe you get access to Sunburst. So if you, once you gain six level spells, you could just outright cast that spell scroll. Mm -hmm. I mean, Defy Death may come in handy considering how many times Betty's gone down. Yeah, I was I I want I very specifically want to uh impart the hold monster and the defy death onto somebody else. Be, I uh, believe not hold even monster the is same. a warlock spell, so I can cast that without penalty. Okay, Hassel, Hassel can take that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, and defy death, I, I, I don't, I, I, I am not as diligent as I uh. As I should be in uh, recording what classes the spells say they should be, but uh, I feel like that would be a cleric or warlock one, not uh, one or uh, the other. Yeah, I what I can do though is I can search my history. Do 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 do. Yeah, it's sorcerer, warlock, wizard. So, nope, oh, I got one of those. Yeah. I guess cleric does actually not make too much sense considering it. I mean, I could also hold on to that if you wanted, but yeah, yeah. I mean, you found you found that scroll, so sure. What level was that? Uh, that is a fourth, oh, thought, fifth level. I thought that was the one from the uh, 
the thing I opened that one time. Oh, the other person. Sorry. We found we found two so scrolls in that in that place, and you know. Wasn't I wasn't he and I wasn't for here for that for that yeah. session neither, so Nope, just get get my scrolls messed up. I wasn't sure which one I found earlier now. Yep. I just knew it was magic and therefore not my forte. But yeah, I basically wanted to get those two off of me so that if I was preoccupied doing something else, somebody else could co could cover those mm -hmm. at least so, once. Division of the labor. Divi division of re of labor and resources. <laughs> also, uh, while we were uh, Hessel was selling the jewels. Can I say that I found someone, or tried to find someone who would help me carve the fulgurite into an orb? Sure. Yeah, that 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 would be them. That, that uh, jewelry shop that uh would have the tools to do that. How much? Um, just carving it into a, a general sphere. Um, yeah. like ten gold. Okay. You now have. A an orb and can cast a pretty good spell. Orb. Yes. All right. Onward to Long Eye Logistics or whatever it was called. That's what it was called. You nailed it. Right out the gate. You absolutely nailed it. All right. <clears throat> yes. Uh, with a, a bit of asking around, you. Head into uh, the uh, Milk Run District, which are weird, is a weird name, but you see it even as you enter the district uh, across the large, uh, like, double set um, uh, bridge that crosses. You do see in big metal letters, Milk Run, uh, on the on the side of the river. Um, not sure why the name, but it is the name. <laughs> um, and with a little bit of asking questions, you uh, you are quickly make your way to uh, a uh, a building that has a simple telescope with a uh, L E written above it, or L E L, yeah. Lel. 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 Looks to be the place. All right. Let me actually pull up this dude's name. Yeah, it looks like a simple Grimwald. two story. Yeah, Grimwald, Grimwald Bolter. Bolter. This mm -hmm. guy sounds like a real downer. <laughs> All right. Let's head on in. <laughs> you uh, open, you uh, push open one of these doors. They're like, Almost large, um, like barn doors, they slide open. That seems to be the only entrance from the front. Um, there is like a an inset door, but it seems to be locked. But the door seems to just slide open if you pull on the big handles. <laughs> to which you, uh, as you pull it across, you see a pin roll across this little set of outsticking uh, metal prongs and it plays a little ding 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 ding, ding as you open the door <clears throat> which uh, a number of people like turn towards your direction um, uh, just this large uh, bay of like a, a half warehouse sitting um, uh, what is it like lofted over what is downstairs, like a bunch of crates that you can see in the distance. Um, and sort of uh, a, a a smaller young man sort of <laughs> by the front door. Uh, may, I, may I help you? He's Grimwald in today. He can uh, adjust his glasses. Mr. Bolter, uh, he's uh, in his office, right? right? And he points towards like a uh, sectioned off, um, like room, the the 
walls don't go all the way up to the ceiling, but you can see someone like walking back and forth through the like uh, uh, drawn curtains of a of like a, like a glass office. <laughs> gotcha. You know, right. do, do you have a, a, a meeting with Mr. Bolter? He's rather busy. <laughs> Let him know that Hesu Blackwater is here to speak with him. <laughs> you know, she personally gets up at me? To go tell him? Um, Who else is it going to be? <laughs> Everyone sort of just sneers at the kid. Like, yeah, Dex, go tell him. <laughs> <laughs> He kind of straightens his papers on his death. <laughs> what, one, one, one moment. <laughs> and he heads off to the office. <laughs> Knocks on the door. There's a pause. He opens the door and walks in. There's a, there's almost a flash of light <laughs> through the. <laughs> <laughs> the windows <laughs> and uh Dex comes <laughs> comes like wobbling out. <laughs> hey, he'll 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 be right out. <laughs> that wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> he he's blinking like he can't see you very well. <laughs> no, it was yep exactly what I expected. <laughs> I'm curious now. <laughs> I, I am also curious. You see the door open after about 30 seconds. Um, and a and a well-dressed man comes walking out. Uh, uh, light purples with this, like, cream-colored undershirt. Um, a vest, like, uh, dress pants. These high, high-cut boots. Um, a, a little curled uh, light blue cravat with little lightning bolts on it comes out. <laughs> oh, Blackwater's coming to visit me? <laughs> what do I owe you the pleasure? <laughs> comes storming out. This brilliant silver haired quaffed, quaffed back in a little like permanent, just bouncy haircut, shaved on the sides, almost. Actually, golden complexion, like not tan, but like, like his skin has been infused with gold. Um, just these bright, pale blue, uh, pupilless eyes comes come striding, uh, an ASMR man. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> he walks up, he's he's. Fairly short for what you understand, a somewhere He's about he's about five 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 six maybe. <laughs> um, he comes trotting up. He's got these um, heavy heavy bottomed boots that clack across the uh, the stone floor in here. And he comes and parks himself pretty quick. Are you? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Right, right. Pleasure, pleasure, Mister. Bo- you can call me. You can call me Grim. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> sure, Grim. He sticks his hand up and shakes it. Um, yeah. Well, uh, what? Uh, and he clasps his hands. What can I? Uh, what can I get for you folks? Um, we uh, we haven't planned any shipments yet for Blackwaters in a couple of months, but if you're uh, looking for something. Well, we can certainly help you find it. Uh, be on the lookout for correspondence from my mother in the near future. Uh, things are changing in recent times, but on a personal matter, uh, we, me and my compatriots here are looking into a few things in town, and we, we're hoping you might be able to provide information. Well, I mean, I'm not exactly the uh, information broker I was before, but uh, I can certainly tell you I have heard that uh, from through the grapevine that uh, some things are changing. So we've been uh, we've been waiting to hear your call. Um, so 
what uh, I was hoping for today. But uh, I guess if your mother's back and things have cleared up over there. As well as I can. <laughs> right, of course. And, uh, well, uh, we, can certainly, uh, we can certainly get you some information. <laughs> and as he laughs, he smiles, and there's just this, like, almost flash bulb uh, that comes out of his mouth as he laughs. Ah, <clears throat> oh, that explains. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> it's, it's off-putting. <laughs> Betty just blinks her bird eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, gonna, it might be easier to talk in the office. That's uh, away from all these prying. What, what, what I was going to recommend. Your, your friends can come along too. I've got plenty of room back there. You know. Does Betty have non-bird eyes? <laughs> she <laughs> does. <laughs> Where her nipples are. Do I, have <laughs> I might hear a storm. If Betty were to grow a third eye, would it be a bird eye? Probably. Okay. Hmm. That's it. That's the only. That's it. that's all I was wondering. All right. But uh, yeah. you all get situated in the office. Yeah, there, there's some, there's a, a like a long leather, uh, a long leather couch and a couple chairs. Um, so just enough seating for everybody. He goes and sits in his like big high back purple and gold chair. <laughs> his uh, his desk is like immaculate. Like if there were outlines where everything fit, there would be. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't need those outlines, now does he? No, because he's perfect. He knows where everything goes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he sits down. He he uh, like chapels his fingers and he goes. So, what are you looking for? Well, I have two main points of interest. Um, outside of the family business, uh, me and my compatriots here, I found a. Uh, a passion for problem fixing. And <laughs> you heard something about disappearances in town. Oh, yes. There have been a couple of disappearances. There are a few rumors going about. Are you uh, looking to officially look into this, or are you more solve the issue, run away in the night sort of folk? We're looking to take pay for it, so all <laughs> above board. Okay, okay. Real uh, adventure, monster hunter folk. Wait! <gasps> you do match the description. Starlight's Call? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, already heard across this side of the sea, huh? Yes, well, I was an information broker. That doesn't mean I stopped getting the information. It just doesn't mean I sell it to people anymore uh, all right um you know i just want to know what's what's what have you heard it's a good this is a good gauge to see where we are most good things at your bunch of adventuring bordering on pirates privateers with a vessel the malignant mall fairly close that's from small that's what it is Yes. Um, Lean over to say one and be like, I'm pretty sure the term's problem solver. <laughs> I've I've heard mostly good things, but uh, have heard that. Uh, and he looks towards Betty for just a moment. You, Betty, your eyes meet his. <laughs> and uh, you know, some things are a little uh, underboard, as it were. I, I will smile as he, mm. as he meets my gaze. But no. I don't care. Uh, yeah, there's... Uh, I We don't in the city, and, no, because the gracious uh, overseers of us in uh, of the Dorwain Empire have so, seen fit to eradicate and he air quotes there. All the monsters that would be an issue here. There's no uh, Monster Hunters Guild. However, I could point you to somebody who might be willing to, unfortunately, be under the table, uh, be willing to pay you for your assistance in looking uh, at this issue. Uh. 
Does someone under the table have interest in going on in town? They are above the board, but this is something that they are wishing for people to look into. They're a motherly, patronly sort of. Mm. The, the, a, a mom to the city, as it were. All right, can you get a name? Yeah, can't hurt to speak with her. <laughs> You'll want to look for... Um, just on the north side of the city, look for an inn called the, uh, the Silken Embrace. Run by a woman named Leedra Wormdance. She is a she's a drow. So if you have any proclivities against, you know, being a, I knew it. Being that a, is, that's not Betty. It's just right. <laughs> yeah, I also heard that name and it was like a drow. Probably a drow. <laughs> yes, she's um. She's concerned. Uh, a couple of her friends have gone missing, and wishes uh, somebody to look into it. Um, she has uh, been given permission, like I said, under the board by uh, the royal guard, Holly Pashmir, to um, finance a compensation, as it were. If you have any answers, I'd take them to her. You can speak with her first to see what she knows, or you deal with this yourself and help to get lucky. But uh, What's the name of the inn? The, the Silken, Silken Embrace. The Silken Embrace. Alright, that's well, very helpful. Don't mind dealing with another drow? <laughs> Now, these, you know, these are some second and third generational drow. They were not born underground. They, uh, she gives them job because a lot of people don't want drow around. Um, and I will warn, uh, they offer some services that on the surface seem, uh, Uncouth, but I assure you they are all above board, and they will happily uh, put a gut in, <laughs> put a knife in your gut, and throw you out if you try anything. Um, I recommend it. Well, fantastic night's sleep for like a week afterward. Um, but uh, do not. Uh, <laughs> I will warn you. As then he kind of looks towards like the door. He goes. There's a couple of guys from here can attest. They're not escorts. They will not do things for you like that. So uh, just be kind, be patient, and uh, uh, speak slowly to her. She seems, uh, she's a little, and he kind of moves his fingers into the air, ethereal some of these days. <laughs> Understood. Right, our sec second topic is uh, our need to locate a, an individual in town. Well, last we heard, she was in town anyways. Oh, who would this uh, individual be? Lofty uh, Rainy Meadows? There you go. I had no idea what the name was. <laughs> I looked kinda... it up at the start of the session. I tried to find it. I couldn't. His... <laughs> He sort of, his eyes sort of flutter and he puts his hand like on his cheek and he goes, Oh, Lofty, I recommend not calling her that. But, uh, she, uh, she does, she is here. Um, I would say she's embroiled in a little bit of, um, one sided rivalry at the moment. Oh. On her part, or someone else's? Someone else's. She sort of wishes to be left alone. And a, uh... A Madam, uh... Kithria, uh... Elenthris is, uh... Well... 
know. She needs to learn how to mind her own business. Yeah. Doesn't like that someone has taken her crown. All right, could you write that name out? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it, it, if you recommend not calling her by the name that we were given, what would you recommend calling her? She's been going uh, publicly, although people seem to not... Uh, well, the people that she doesn't work with continue calling her Lofty, but she's been going by uh, Rena for quite some years. Oh. Mm. Excellent to know. <laughs> Willow's eye twitches. <laughs> yeah, Will Willow's eye would, would probably twitch a little bit, but she'd probably like try and hide, cover it up as quick as possible. Well, if you could uh, point us in a direction, we uh, <laughs> have a couple paths before us now, and we can discuss amongst ourselves how to proceed. Yeah, sure, I can. Uh, I can uh, draw you a quick little map for uh, for both. And you watch as he <clears throat> pulls out a pen, and it's almost like a dot matrix printer. <laughs> he, he pulls out this pen, and just it's just a series of dots. But then you realize that he's like. Printing the major roads onto the the onto the paper. That's fucking insane. And then insane. he draws two little small little circles. It takes him but two minutes to do the whole city. And he just draws a little line next to the, the roads you should follow to get to both locations. <laughs> okay. He's just like and I apologize for the not being able to show landmarks in such a short period of time, but you should be able to read this, uh Rather barbaric attempt at a map. <clears throat> Me map with two little circles. Woo. Two little. So what are we thinking, gang? Get down to business or have fun and investigate some missing people. Like, Honestly, imagine. I think we should reward ourselves with the fun afterwards. I kind of want to meet who this lady is. Good deal. Oh. Only uh, alternative is that if she uh, is in any way affiliated with this um, mother character, being on the mother's good side might be uh, a boon in our dealings with her. And? Uh, with... Um, Rena. I I turn to Grim and I'm like, D does she is? Do you know if she's related at all to uh, to our lovely Drow? Uh, Affiliated mother? with in any capacity? Oh, Rena and uh, uh, yeah, I already forgot her name because I've said so many names. Uh, the mother. I don't uh, the mother. The Ladra. Ladra. Yeah. That's right. Are the two of them related? I don't believe so. Uh, or in a sort of a, she's an orphan, um, that's uh, made her way in the world by herself. So, well, I'm more so mean helping the, uh, I guess how you describe the town mother wouldn't make Rena more appreciative mm -hmm. of us. Oh, um, hmm, I don't really know their relationship if there is any. Um. Then I guess it's kind of irrelevant. We can tackle this in whatever order we want. We could uh, start with the closest one. Yeah. Uh, closest is Rena. And this one mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. This guess, one is silken. Uh, do you have any advice before we set out? Anything that's going on in the city that we need to watch for? He goes. <clears throat> Commotion. Um, I wouldn't try to make Madame Kell very, uh, well, hate you more than she probably already does right now for existing. Uh, she's a little bit of a grump. Um, 
but you know, being at the end of a, an elven lifetime seems to do that. So, uh, she is ancient, <laughs> but I mean, no, this is a pretty quiet town. The fact that they've had disappearances is interesting. Personally, I think it's probably bandits or something of that sort, but uh, there's not much news on it. Um, well, just sort of started in the last week or so. Yeah. Hmm. And I guess right. one last thing. Do you recommend anywhere to sleep? Uh, the Silken Embrace. <laughs> Well, that makes it easy. Seems fortuitous, then. Definitely, uh... In that case... The best inn in the city. At the end of the day. Yeah. So all the more reason to go see Rena first. <clears throat> With just about... <throat> just about 2 p.m. right now. Yeah. Let's, let's Perfect talk. timing. Are I'm, we catching yeah. her right at the end of the work day? It's great timing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're heading, excuse me, heading to Rena? Yeah. Thanks. so. Right. Um, Bob, go. Yeah. I mean, warm blorb. Um, Bob, go. <laughs> Nondescript green uh, diamond, go. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Plum. <laughs> yes. Uh, as we as we, we don't have to RP this, but as we pass uh, through the market again on mm-hmm. our way there, I will uh, probably just pop into a fabric stall and buy ten yards each of two different fabrics. Uh, just and I'll come up with descriptions for them later. Okay. Just, and I I'm will make, ask making more dresses. <laughs> I will ask in my traditional sense: Are they selling any pineapples as we pass? Uh, no. <laughs> This is uh and upsets me this, this is a much more moderate temperatured, not tropical location. Speaking uh, of fruit, as we are passing the market, I'll bounce between a couple stalls, uh just picking stuff up on along the way mm-hmm. and uh put together a gift basket. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'd say for about like Twenty gold in total. You can uh, you can buy a basket and fill it with uh, small treats and, and trinkets and little like loaves of bread and donuts and fruit or whatever you're trying to fill it with. <laughs> yeah, sure. Whatever to make a good impression. Has Betty ever seen a gift basket? I feel like that's not. Uh, she's probably plundered a couple of gift baskets, but yeah. She'll look at the thing that has all just mainly like, oh yeah, those have good shit in them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, That's the idea. Any places have books on shipbuilding? <sighs> Not currently in this district, but uh, if you uh, look to elsewhere, you probably find some. <laughs> all right, you can find a bookstore later. <laughs> yes. No bookstores. There may be a library here. <laughs> Where is the giant ass tower of um, ships and of sky ships? Sky ships. Uh, sitting directly here. Okay. Hey, I just noticed something that's in our inventory. Our uh-huh. Inventory. Hey, uh, Ivar, if you want to add them to your character sheet, because you're the only character that can use them, there are twenty <laughs> plus two bolts. Oh yeah, they're they're twenty plus two uh uh crossbow bolts. Crossbow bolts. Yeah. Well, I won't say no. Mm. I didn't know we had those. Uh yeah, they were part of loot some time ago. Yeah. I forgot we have a Ye old ancient uh, Yeah. We I mean it's just never come up. It's never been useful. Is it twenty plus two? Yes. Yeah, 20 plus 2 bolts. Hmm. All right. I had taken off the sheet. All right. I did it. Some, some of these things, I have questions of what the heck they are. 
What, like the weirdly ornate shovel? That one I remember vaguely. <laughs> the, I'm trying to remember the great sort of dragon slaying. I mean, we, we couldn't, don't know. We couldn't remember, we so we've, we've taken it off, but yeah. Oh, is it, why is it still on there? Because it's eternal. <laughs> it's yeah. eternal. The, we, there was a plus two ornate silvered spear. That that was real. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make another trip to the magic, magic shop at some point. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm sure it was from some boss that I just don't remember. Everyone uh, ready to uh, make a good impression? Hopefully. Or fight in case Willow is immediately attacked on sight because this is actually her. But he pulls up. I, pull. Sorry. I don't think, even even if we're assuming that Rena is actually her, I don't think she would. I, I'm. We'll discuss it later. <laughs> or we'll discuss it when we get in there. But you know, uh, perhaps Betty opens the door. Well, it's time to think. Uh, well, or is it a home or a shop? Uh, this is this will be a workshop. But uh, as you uh, you all walk down the street and you enter the courtyard, you can hear uh, a banging on a door <laughs> across the courtyard of a an elderly woman uh, <laughs> rapping on an, on an iron door knocker. <laughs> you just hear a string of uh, well, if you speak Elvish, <laughs> yeah, a string of curses, <laughs> um, and uh, the best way I can put this is like a very angry Italian grandma. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> that is perfect. <laughs> You show respect to your elders. You get out here. I want to speak to you right now. I'll give you a stern talking to. Just it's it just this blithering like roll of tower. Sure. Um, uh, a slew of of curses and <clears throat> uh, unhappy remarks. Um, uh, you watch as a. Uh, a gray-skinned hand reaches out from a window above, <clears throat> and you watch as a, like, a stone chicken apparates <gasps> from the floor. She goes, you just hear, Have a gift, you grumpy old bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And she picks it up and slams it into the ground <laughs> and, run and stomps off. All right, Willow. We're gonna need an exact repeat mm. of that performance, all in Elvish. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, we won't <laughs> be getting that. Um, I'm gonna just okay, straighten no straighten out my uh my overdress uh and uh, go up to the door and politely knock and wait for a response. <laughs> <laughs> You're hearing. Knock lightly. <sighs> Woman, I don't know what you want from me. I. The voice stops. I, give basket. <laughs> you, I hold it up. You see, like. I, uh, Willow face palms. <laughs> you see, well, like. Betty a, also face palms. An arm, like, rest on the windowsill, like, looking down, but you can't see a face in the darkness. Uh huh. One moment. <laughs> See, it always works. Mm -hmm. I mean, the ones I've seen, it it didn't. <laughs> uh, I feel like it had about an equal chance of succeeding and failing. Uh, given please. the display that we just witnessed. The door opens and a an elven woman stands there. Uh, 
not an elf that you've ever seen before. Um, has the features and appearance of like a uh, a high elf with the, the tall, you know, tall form, thin frame, sort of longer neck, the the longer ears, but gray skin and raven black hair sort of tied up into this little knotty little bun that was just like they just quickly put their hair up um they come answer the door they sort of adjust their little moons uh moon or crescent moon shaped glasses um this is kind of oh oh i'm i guess you saw that i apologize um you are not the one who should be apologizing. Puts her tools away into her little... She's wearing a small little gray apron that's uh, like flecked with little bits of onyx and, and, and stone dust. And, uh, it was quite the terrible showing of manners. By the rolls, rolls her sleeves up. It, yes. Um, she's... Says using magic is cheating. I say, um, I'm the only one who can do it, so it's my art. I mean, why would utilizing a skill be cheating? <laughs> Someone who thinks like with me. Excellent. It, would you looking to commission something? Um, no, I was actually hoping to speak to you. I'm uh, searching for someone and well, you may be one of the only links to her. <laughs> Pushes up her glasses a little bit again. Oh? Who are you looking for? Um, It may be best if we talk somewhere private. Would it be alright if we entered? Uh, you know, looks around. I hold up the gift basket. <laughs> make, a, make a persuasion check with... Uh, Willow, make a persuasion check with advantage. Betty puts, yes. the, puts the basket down. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, persuasion check is only a plus one. Uh, but I do have advantage, so it could be good. And then also I have portents, which were not great, but they weren't terrible. So... Uh yeah, I will I will replace that with a fifteen for a sixteen. Okay, sixteen. Two. It, yeah, yes, that's well. It should be all right. And she kind of looks uneasy as she like her eyes like go across all of you. I mean, no funny business. I can defend myself. I wouldn't doubt it for a second. Ah, uh, and no funny business. You have my word. He steps aside into the, uh, little, out of the way of the alcove and gestures yeah. with a little, a little bow to come in. I tell Crest oh, to sit and wait. <laughs> make sure, make sure that lady doesn't come back. <laughs> yeah. The dinosaur <laughs> pit pitters around in a circle and sits with a little flump. His tail curls around his feet. <laughs> As I walk in, I'll you can talk. set I know. the gift <laughs> basket on the first desk I see. Uh, you walk in to... It's almost a... PTSD reaction. As this room is filled with stone people. <laughs> Uh, busts on tables, um, you know, full forms, uh, people in, like, heroic poses. Um, one of them looks like a man, like, reaching to flip a table, o like a ranger flipping a table over as he's pulling an arrow back. Um, all incredibly detailed. <laughs> I'm going and, to instinctively, uh, I'm going to instinctively hold on to Ivar. <laughs> As uh, as at Will walks in and sees that she's gonna close her eyes for a second, and just like under her breath and in Sylvan, just say it's a, it's just a 
It's just a, it's just a statue. <laughs> so do I have to roll not to draw my sword right now? <laughs> um, I would say yeah. Make a make a wisdom saving throw. To, uh, you're in Betty's you're aura. In Betty's so, aura. Plus four. <laughs> yeah. so whatever this is, plus a four. Yeah. 24. Okay, nope, yeah, 24. you. You feel that <clears throat> that bile feeling of rage begin to pull up from your stomach as your stomach tightens. And Don't know if it's her yet. <sighs> Hang on. <laughs> as, ah, uh, yes, drop into aggressive overdrive without actually trying to kill somebody. <laughs> I think that's called anxiety. Ivar begins to physically steam. <laughs> Um, but she goes and she... Actually, can I hand the gift basket to her directly? Sure. And as I do, uh, like, hand it over, my left hand will brush hers. Okay. And now, uh, if I succeed in a persuasion check at some point, she will be charmed for an hour. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, Did know this? We, hopefully it won't come to that. I believe by the wording, she doesn't know she's been charmed. No, and there's no save unless she's hostile. Yes. Which she, hope, again, hopefully it won't come to that, because if she isn't initially hostile, she damn well will be later. But yeah, you, you probably hand her the basket. She's, oh, oh, thank you. And she grabs and she's, I even wanted to try these, and she grabs up, and she's like, mm -hmm. apricot's one of my favorite fruits. <laughs> oh, that's that's called. <laughs> <laughs> she sets it down. All right. Sort of just, like, hap haphazardly eating while she's like, oh, um, don't mind if I... And she, like, gestures to her little apron. <laughs> oh, certainly not. She undoes it and hangs it up on the... <clears throat> on the uh, on a little hook that's on the side of the room, and she goes over there. She flips on a couple of these little little switches, and uh, you see these lights like blink on with this little boom, 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 as it lights up her uh, uh, her showroom, as it were. Um, and you can see uh, now with the light, these statues have. Pores, they have scars, they have uh, individual pieces of hair or like, like sections of hair that are out of place. The uh, tr a true like statuary mask, yeah, basically. Um, you know, the folds in the clothes, you can see when the specific muscles are tensed in the arms. This is like it, it, you, you are almost certain these are people if you didn't know better. <laughs> Is there any noticeable differences between these and the ones that we saw that were confirmed to be Ren and Dula's work? I feel, um, I feel like uh, no expressions of abject horror. Yeah, I was uh, going to say, make, it, make a pers perception check, sorry, not persuasion. Perception. <laughs> You're going to persuade the statue. <laughs> Tell me your secrets. <laughs> I mean, out of everything here, with a 26 out of everything here, yes, there are no. Everyone either looks happy or they're stoic or they're in the middle of combat sort of faces. But the one thing that sticks out to you is all of the eyes are incredibly. Stone. There's not detail to the eyes like the other statues. They're they just seem like someone who doesn't know how to do eyes, but knows how to do everything else. They're just very basic shaped. I mean, hey, you know, they're they're anatomically correct and they have the correct like natural curve to them, but it's just white of eye, sort of like a circle around no, the iris. No iris, no pupil. Just like, uh, and like a general indent for a pupil, but like, no character to it. With that, you're, everyone would probably see, if they were 
Percepta would notice, say, when relaxing a little bit. <laughs> I'm actually gonna look more closely at some of the statues just for their artistry. Mm -hmm. uh, Hessel's not uncomfortable by the, by the statues at all, so he's a. Uh... <laughs> Despite handing over the gift basket, he'll grab grab something and start eating himself. <laughs> okay. That's to get. Yeah. I, as soon as soon as that happens, Betty's grabbing an apricot. <laughs> oh, there were like, the, the, these like, little there were these little little apricot tarts that have a, an right. apricot paste in the middle. That that will be eaten whole, and then the pit will be set up. <laughs> so Ivar will uh, mask the constant reaching for the sword blade by scratching the back of his head. <laughs> Yeah, this is a nice place. Thank you. I, uh, <clears throat> well, I didn't build it myself. I just, I've uh, added the second floor. This is my, uh, my, my showroom. This is my art. Oh, so you got a very unique style. Huh. Uh, well, unfortunately well, not so unique as we will discuss here shortly. <laughs> just, oh, is someone copying my... It's not a copy, per se. Um, how much do you know about ancient history of Vandash? Kinda, she straightens her little, like, <clears throat> flannel shirt a little bit. Um, oh, I'm, somebody I'm, left. Oh, someone died? It was Alex. Alex died. I'm going to be honest with you. I think before we start this conversation, maybe we should introduce ourselves. Oh, yes. That would be a better option. Sorry, horribly rude. I, yeah, yeah, I didn't. Uh, welcome back. Died. Oh, no. Okay. But you're back now, so it's fine. Yes. Um, my name's Betty. Betty, nice to meet you. Uh, Willow. You see her, like, face twitch at the name. Willow, nice, nice to meet you. Hey, Wynn. Hey, Nice to meet you. Hessel Blackwater. Hessel Blackwater. That name sounds familiar. It always does. Hmm. Someone with the name Blackwater bought a statue from me recently. Oh. How recent? Well, let's talk about that later. <laughs> And you are, Mr. And the the person scratching his head is uh, Ivar. He's... Ivar, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that something's upsetting you. Your jaw's a little clenched. You need. I've got some iced tea in the the ice box over here. Why are you all looking at me the way you're looking at me? By the way. Um. Well. I think there's no point in tiptoeing around it, especially if we want to all be forthcoming with our intentions. So we want to ask you if you know a name, just off the top of your dome. <laughs> name? Have you ever met someone by the name of Renandula? He watches her body like jerks, like her spine tried to give way. <laughs> I would ask for insight checks all around, but I think there's no point. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, if you want to make an insight check. <laughs> Does it look like she knows that name? Yeah. Well, what, you know what? It might be worth making insight checks anyway. Because this is like, does she look at... like she doesn't know why. Or is this like, yeah. oh, no. Yeah. They found out. Yeah, I'm definitely going to gonna insight check that just because I'm like vaguely concerned for her safety. <laughs> also, is it fear or is it like... Something else. I don't know. Make an inside check. Maybe I'll tell you. Not 20! <laughs> hey! I got 13. Oh, well. Pretty good for me. <laughs> the Willow with the 13, it was definitely a reaction. It was <laughs> certainly a re It was one that took me off guard. <laughs> um, for Sewin and the Ivar, um, it was... It was definitely involuntary. It was a reaction. It was someone flicking you in the temple 
when you're not paying attention sort of reaction. Uh, so Betty, nothing I'm gonna nothing I'm gonna interpret as a move to run or grab something. Yeah, no, that was just it was just an it instinctual was a like jerk. Yeah. An instinctual reaction. Betty with a yeah. natural twenty. There's this look her eyes give like she doesn't recognize the name but to hear it hurt her deeply interesting she kind of grabs her oh and she's, oh sorry i've um i almost threw up in my mouth i'm sorry let me um <laughs> and she reaches over and grabs a pitcher and begins to pour water I'm I'm prepared for this. I reach I pull a, a bottle of water out of the gift bag. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, Betty gives her Betty gives her a liter of pineapple juice. So she has, oh my god, why? <laughs> okay, well, we she probably needs water. <laughs> and she drinks from the water. She's like, oh, this is this is really good water. Just spring water? <laughs> I just Oy bought the most expensive one. <laughs> She wipes her eyes as like tears have begun to pool. And she's, so I'm sorry. Um, I um, look at the others and like kind of like raise my eyebrow. Like, was that a bad thing or? She Betty, like Betty kind of shakes her head. She's like, you you don't know that name, do you? She's like, can't uh, can't say that I've I, I recognize it. No. Um, but it definitely affected you. It, that's why I'm um at a at a, at a loss for. Ask for words. Um, and you had a, a smaller, similar reaction, though, to hearing my by name. Well, Will is a name I heard several times in my dreams. So I haven't come across many Willows. Um, so it's a. Uh, what dreams? All right, so I'm going to preface this with we're not crazy, and you're not crazy. All right, that's, does, does that does that make everybody feel I mean, better? Would, or does that make everybody feel worse? I, unsure at the moment. Okay. Um, it's just um, well, ever since I was a little girl, um, even at the orphanage, um, I would have dreams of talking with. Willow. Um, uh, Willow was the name of my um, imaginary friend. Because, um, well, I talk with Willow in my dreams. And you see this, this look of uh, worry and um, like somebody who's just found like a childhood teddy bear but it's like you shouldn't be talking you shouldn't <laughs> yeah you shouldn't be real <laughs> all right well maybe we should just start from the beginning then i'm gonna use telepathic bond or whatever it's called mm. my, my mind thing to connect with Saywin. okay <laughs> hey Saywin. hey do you have the ability I don't know how to explain this in game or in, <laughs> in character, but through the power of my words, I convey: Do you have greater restoration prepared in case her memories have been messed with? Um, I don't think I even have that spell. It's a fifth level spell. Uh, I do not. Okay. I was going to say, I switched yeah. some things around and I have lesser. <laughs> but I think if, if, well, it's all out of character stuff, but I think modify memory specifically once greater. Yeah. yeah. But she kind of, I mean, she sits yeah. down and starts nibbling at some, some of those short bird cookies. Yeah. Yeah. If, if we think that she's had memory manipulation can come back tomorrow and mm -hmm. yeah. try again. So I'm assuming that if we have that assumption, we'll probably tell her and be like, "Hey, 
give us a day we can help you fix this. Well, we'll let her talk and but, we'll yeah, see let's if just she, tell it her actually everything. comes across yeah. that way. Um so in in terms of being forthcoming and uh and um uh, also sounding like the crazy one in the room. I may have known this. No, I not may have, I did. I studied under Renindula for I you see her in case she reacts again. Yeah, you yeah. see her eyes like flutter. Betty Betty slightly hits Willow. <laughs> I don't know. I would just you could use different names. I studied under her for a few years. Roughly two and a half millennia ago. She kind of... Okay, okay, all right. Who are, who are you guys really? Have you heard it's of a... the stone man of Vandesh? I assume you have, given your line of work. My work has been compared to... Oh no, are they She's real? She's the original artiste. That's why we came <sighs> to you. <laughs> you watch as she like stretches her arms up across her like granite counter. <sighs> are you are you guys blackmailing me? Is this was happening. No, 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 no. Um, remember I how I you said that this is not. I remember how I when when we entered, I gave you my word that there was no funny business. Um, a fun little fact. I can't lie. And <laughs> believe me when I say <laughs> that this is the truth. Yeah. <sighs> Honestly, she can't lie, and it's really annoying. I feel like I can I think it's a trust really funny thing to say when trying to convince annoying. somebody. Yeah. I feel like I can trust you, Willow. <laughs> but I'm still skeptical because, well, um, I'm almost 30, and uh, the fact that I've never come across this, uh, <sighs> hmm. And yet you have such a visceral reaction to the name. You can see her lip is like bleeding slightly where she bit it the last time. Jesus. And she's just like it's Can I can I ask something of you? To help it make this whole thing smoothly. I'm gonna I'm gonna say in her head with another psionic die. Oh god. Okay. I'm not overly experienced, but I might be able to smooth over that reaction if you want to think on that name and find out why it's happening. She... Her oh, eyes sort of go a little wide as she hears your voice in her head. Hessel's, uh, Hessel's going to be the psionic get-down-Mr-President. Yes. I might be able to take a peek in and see what's causing it in case something was done to you. No funny business. I All I gotta do is place a hand on your head. That's it. You can make a persuasion check. Alright. <laughs> How much is the gift basket helping? <laughs> Okay, but I am going have, to pump this. Well, you have advantage on this. Oh, yeah, because she's charmed. Yeah. Or she might potentially be charmed. <laughs> she's very charmed. Well, I'll she's do very it. charmed. You know, gives a little bit of a smile. Like, oh, yeah, and I, I reread the item. Uh, the, as far as I can tell, there's literally no negative re repercussions. Yeah. Oh, wow. Cool. But, it just lasts win. for an hour. 
and there's no negative reaction. Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, it's, that's what happens when an artifact gives you something like this. Um, ah. <laughs> but, uh, she, like, you see her shoulders sort of relax. I'm going to trust you guys. Now I'm worried that I'm not who I said I am, so... Well, to try and dissuade that fear, I'm, I don't believe that's the concern. We believe if there's any connection, it's a, a maternal one. Less so than a, you're a weird, uh, not who you actually are kind of situation. And, uh, before we continue, perhaps the reason, uh... You hadn't heard more than vague rumors prior to this. Is uh, I wasn't around until a few months ago. And I just nods her head. <laughs> do, now, do you guys want to continue your conversation? I'm gonna pull up a chair and sit behind her. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and just kind of like. get my like my palm against like the back of her head so like run my fingers through her hair and just like <clears throat> you guys talk i'll just focus okay <laughs> hey, she kind of gives a little bit of a nod <laughs> just relax and speak you know what you know and maybe you know a little bit more yeah okay um very weird How- How did you discover that you could manipulate stone? Well, I was a very bored orphan, and the library was just down the street. Um, I started reading uh, uh, books about um, uh, mages of old and how they could manipulate things and... Um, I've very quickly picked up an affinity for, um, the first cantrip I ever learned was Move Earth, and, um, anything to do with, uh, crystalline spells, um, anything from the Earth sphere of magic. I seem to pick up rather instantaneously. Um, It didn't take me long to study, and um, I wasn't allowed into the uh, wizarding school because I couldn't cast magic like they did. Um, I just sort of (laughs) knew it. I could study it, and I could learn how they learned things, but I didn't need a spell book. I just would see how the spell worked, and if it was from the sort of earth circles, I, I got it almost instantly. Um, so I was very quickly... Um, Part of the public programs uh, allowed me to take part in uh, going to the, the you know, wizarding school, uh, but I was quickly expelled because I couldn't um, show my work ever. I just knew how to do it. Uh, they called me a sorcerer. But, um, I couldn't learn how they learned, so... Um, but, well, and she sort of looks over in the corner, and there's a, uh, this, uh, beautifully immaculate engar- in, 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 engraved, um, like, uh, basalt, uh, like, cover, um, um, spell book sitting in the corner. Mm-hmm. I could learn it, it's just, well, I just got it faster than they did. 
Mm -hmm. Um, then I learned I didn't need to cast any spells to she just sort of she touches the counter and runs her hand across it and you watch as a small sphere of um uh granite pulls out of the granite countertop and she just flips her hand upside down and she has this perfectly circular sphere of granite And she just shrugs her shoulder. Then she bends it in her fingers and he watches half of it sinks down and the bottom flattens out and it becomes like a little replica of the city. Sitting on like a little like a like a plate. Now that is truly something. I know what it looks like. Um I can just make it. Willow, instead of trying the name again, can you produce illusions? I believe so. Give me a moment. That was both a Willow and a mad answer, because it's like, yeah. I do think I can. It's just, <laughs> I can't. Teddy's going to look at her art while this is happening. She's like, I have no idea how you're not rich. <laughs> he's, he's like, well, I, 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 I have amassed a fair amount of wealth. Um, um, I, I do sort of only sell to those I trust and, and kings and royalty and people who aren't uh, despots. Uh, I, I have the ability to only sell to people I want to. Um, that's, a, that's a nice gig. Very nice. Um, uh, so very briefly, Willow's eyes would uh, flash that white color mm -hmm. uh, as uh, when when she's recalling uh, mm -hmm. something, and uh, I will prepare major image. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna close my eyes, really focus on her, and ask, "Can you produce her or her mask?" I can. I believe I can. Uh, and I will close my eyes and really, 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 really focus okay. on producing Renandula as I knew her okay. as this sort of imposing but shadowed figure but okay. clear and detailed. <clears throat> Standing uh, just shy of six feet tall five ten um, the Yo, twin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's three inches taller than Willow. Yeah, this uh, it's a, it's a strange like the skin of the darkest plum you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. uh, that that deep purple black. Uh, the this the stirring red eyes or no green eyes. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It was um, green. Um, and this sort of silver gray hair uh, did not look like it came from old age. Yeah. Um, anybody would mistake her for a drow, except for she wasn't. Yeah. You see this form materialize with her holding her mask in one hand that one time you saw her. And all of her form. <laughs> um, Hessel, I need you to make a <sighs> and a a magic ability a check using your your uh, mm -hmm. your intelligence and your um, proficiency bonus. Okay. Um, for the sake of it, I will just roll appraisal. Okay. 
You appraise how much this is going to break her mental. <laughs> Uh, it, that's actually a 12, so it's a 17. Okay, then I will pump it. Okay. And I'll use the stone just to get maximum value. Okay. While, while, while Willow's, uh, casting, she looks over at, uh, Hetzel and sees his, his so brow kind of scrunch up. So, 25? Okay. You... Your description. No, I, I, but so that I was describing how I could uh, probably tell that you were struggling with something and uh, helped you out a little. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, you feel this blockage as you're trying to focus on this feeling. You begin to push past it and as her form appears almost like a buckling wave of this force uh as blocking the the pathway to this um the it's not that her memory is messed with it's that her memory continues. It's not all there. It's like an echo. It's like seeing things through the reflection of water in a cave. It, everything's a little distorted, and there's not a lot of light here. But you push back, and you see her, uh, you know, you start from present, and there's just quick flashes of memory of her doing well and buying her for her house and and establishing her shop and going back uh, to her struggling in school and struggling with uh, other children at the um, at the orphanage and and struggling and being a sickly child and and then the memories begin to wash out into this like dull gray emptiness and then black for a long time and then just <gasps> little spots of Willow dear can you grab me that uh, Ooh, uh, this spells interesting uh, 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 but then it <laughs> begins to fade as these just little flashes of, of memory inspiration, um, little points, like high points of what seemed to be someone else's memory. Okay. Huh. Uh huh. Clone might be accurate. <laughs> yeah. Ro Rose oh. was messaging us all theories. <laughs> so, what I was thinking was, um, Either a clone or a simulacrum that basically got botched attempt um, delayed by a few millennia because of the entire, like, the weave changed. <laughs> so it's just different. Yeah. Who right. the fuck can say? Yeah. And as, this, her. as this energy fades, you can see these. Um, Rana has these, like, teal eyes. But as this. She's accessing magic. The edges of them turn green. I don't know if this is something I can even do, but seeing all this stuff, I wonder if I can attempt to like smooth it out for her so it's not like a visceral visceral reaction. Um, kind of like nudge things so it flows more naturally. I would say... As the eyes flash, I'm just gonna hold on Ivar. <laughs> because Betty knows that that could be a problem. I mean, I don't know any of this right now, correct? I mean, you just see her, sort of see her, like, I mean, if reacting. you see the, eye, the eyes being green and flashing, I feel like that's yeah. enough to... 
wasn't sure if that was actually something I was physically seeing right now. In which case, sword is. In I hand. mean, you you are also <laughs> physically seeing uh Ren and Dula. No, the, I'm aware that's. Well, that's magic though. That is. Yeah, that is that. yeah but if you yeah, see I'm, the if yeah, she, I, I, the only thing you see is the green eyes. Yeah. In which case, Betty will be holding you back. <laughs> no, if I see if I see green eyes, then swords in hand. <laughs> but uh, she kind of. But you. Be, I will she blinks. I would. I would say. You've done what you can for her. Um, the name isn't isn't something that she should react to anymore, but mm-hmm. um, doesn't change the fact that she's sort of has these memories. Um, the, the, what what remnant of memory that is there is in what form is left. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Um, no, there, there's, there's not really... Um, it's sort of like after her memory ends, it's sort of like someone dropped a bunch of ice cubes on the floor and they broke and that's what's left of what's there and some of them have oh, melted gosh. and some of them have... Um, <laughs> so I'm kind of imagining it like when you paint over like a painting and then you try and take away the original painting and it's kind of splotchy and not right. Sort of, yeah. You know I mean? Or or like those those in those X-ray images of old paintings. Yeah, where that's the, yeah, the sketches yeah. underneath. But mm. like if you were to like try and get rid of like the top painting and like the bottom painting's all fucked up. Yeah. Mm. But uh, you sort of. She blinks and she goes, Oh, that was a. Uh, she's kind of, her eyes go wide with the uh, eye of our sword in hand. <laughs> and Betty holding and, him back. <laughs> yeah, Betty's holding him. Willow's just saying, Iva, no. Iva, no. <laughs> she is going to, uh, with the, with the, the sight of the, uh, the sword in hand, she'll, she raises her hands up. Uh, and you watch her two, like, discs of light appear, and she's just like, Easy? Mm. Uh, I'm gonna drop a uh, major image and, uh, just, uh, and, and stand in between the two of them. <laughs> wow. I would say not- completely not even seeing Willow, I'm just gonna say, put your hands down, or I'll cut them off. Stop. The both of you. Your sword away. Don't need to fight in here. This is my life work. I would not like to damage it. Poor choice of words. <laughs> if I see Ivar starting, I will like prepare like a contested strength roll to grapple him. Uh, yeah, is Ivar making, going to make a, is going to make a move? <laughs> I'm still gonna wait for the hands to be put down. She, she has them up in a, in a defensive position. I slump back from my chair, sweat. Mm. I'm gonna Dripping look. down and just tell her, uh, it's alright, he won't do anything. Uh, I'm gonna look at Rena and just say, and just like sort of whisper in Elvish, please put your hands down. He's. His anger runs hotter than mine. I would like to respond in Elvish. I do speak Elvish. (laughs) (laughs) She. I'd like to respond in common. What the fuck is going on? (laughs) She puts her hands down and backs around Hessel so that he's not behind her. I will. He's just eyes closed, slumped back, kind of like rubbing his eyes. Yeah. Lower the sword to the ground, but still keep it drawn. What did you see, Hesso? Um. Well, if there was any thought that she was, she isn't her. I didn't think that. 
Ähm. Um, but at the same time, it's not that simple. I don't think she's exactly a daughter. So much. Unless we somehow inherit some pieces of our parents' memories when we're born, but I don't think that's the case. I kind of... <sighs> so, I don't have a mom. I think you have a... Uh, an older you. <laughs> uh, very funny. <laughs> well, I can't say anything for certain. I, this magic stuff's really starting to stretch the limits of my imagination or capabilities. But wait, you're you're. Oh God, you're not kidding. I'm making a guess. I can't say. Anything. Yeah, I can see it on your face. You're not kidding. Okay, and. Ivar is rather upset. He just doesn't like the other you. That's okay. I understand that. I prefer to that one as I, I'm going to say they're two separate people at this point. Certainly. Like, they're not the same. And she'd look at Ivar. <laughs> Are we 100% sure of that? I have no affiliation with this Renan Dula. I'll look at Ivor and shake my head, yes. I'm sure. As far as I know, this is a person that somehow influenced my existence. But I don't know who they are. Hmm. I mean, to be honest, I think it... Look, I saw a bit. She definitely lived a life that she thinks she did. There's no doubt in that. She grew up. That's that. There's just some ambiguity to how that starting point arrived. And if Yes, well I can I can tell you what I know about that if that helps. What do you know? That'd be great, yeah. She goes, Anything well, is um, useful. From the uh, official statement of the uh, sisters at the orphanage, um, someone that uh, they said looked like a, a teenager, um, same dark skin, dropped me off. Um, I've never met anyone else that looked like I didn't assume, I thought maybe an older sister or um, something of that nature. A young, a young woman. But, uh, well, if we want to take the I don't know what word to use other than clone aspect, then there's no guarantee there's only one. Huh. Though, to be honest, as far as we can tell, no one else is like her. Maybe there's just unique circumstances to your exact race's or like, birth. Or it's like a chain of them. Like, one dies and another one comes up, and then one dies and another one comes up. Well, I mean, more mean like there's a lot of crazy no, not, not, not to say that things you're, out there. You are an individual. Like, <laughs> like, for example, Travis apparently just appeared out of the ocean one day. We have no idea how he was born. Maybe the ocean made him. An ocean baby. That he just looked right. like maybe him. there's maybe whatever you specifically are, an elf of some nature, but maybe there's unique circumstances to your birth. <clears throat> I did some research of my own um, on that account. A number of uh, individuals think that I am, uh, they call it a Shadar Kai, but I don't. Um, 
I don't meet all of those descriptions and criteria. I am unfortunately not a a, a shadow elf. I'm something different. Right, so Shadow Kai is shadow elf. Betty says to herself, making a note. <laughs> <Yeah>. <sighs> Well, if we want to get back to the purpose of the visit, we're trying to find her. We were hoping this was a lead. I mean, Still might I'm be. willing to help in any way I can, but I, I can assure you I am, uh, hell, uh, let's just put it this way, I... If I had somebody to lean upon that was a great and powerful uh, wizard, I wouldn't have gone hungry for so many years after I left the orphanage. So, um, and you're not, you're not like her at all. If that is any comfort, cold as it might be. Yeah, there's just like sort of a dead look in the eye when you say that. Try and take this as a compliment. My memories are sparse as well. Uh, years of manipulation will do that to one's mind. But <laughs> you are alike in some ways. Both blindingly brilliant. Specialists in the craft. Someone that others would seek out. But mm. you lack the fear. The paranoia, the want for... I mean, I don't know what she wanted. But... She always seemed terrified and as though someone had wronged her greatly every day of her life. As you're saying that, she goes, she was cursed. I, I do remember that. Those dreams aren't dreams. Their memories. She, she was cursed. She was cursed. The I don't. gods have made fools of us both. Um, I don't know what curse it was, but every now and then, um, I, I would have a nightmare of. Uh, Waking up as my skin cracked and fell off, uh, exposing all of my muscle, and then I'd wake up from the pain. Um, and she kind of looks at her arms. It hasn't happened in real life, so I hoped it was a terrible nightmare, but it comes about every now and then. Well, do, would I know anything of that? Make just make just an intelligence check. Okay, let's do this. Come on, it roll. Damn it! Ten. <laughs> Ten. Nothing's outright ringing a bell on this one. Um, oh wait, I have a, I have a, I have a reroll. Do you? You want to use it? Yeah, I do. I will. Come on, roll, you bastard. Seventeen. Seventeen. <laughs> you do have some vague memories of. 
Now, you always thought they were part of the statues, but you do remember stone skin um, littering her work spaces. Oh. Gods. Ugh. Well, that's an unsettling realization. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> well, she was obviously able to hide it very well because I always thought the scraps of fallen stone were from her statuary collection. You can all. Rubs at her neck a little bit as you say that. Oh, it's real. The stone men of Vandash uh, are her gardens. Hmm. So she did turn people to stone. You're looking at the two of them. I point. <laughs> Hessel. I need to know something really fast. So, okay. she's not her, but also her. The best I can feel you. And especially given the teenage story, is that Ren and Dula has created, or at least, I would say created, given the fact that memories are shared, uh, other clones of herself or offspring of some nature and um, at the end of the day she is a different person but could still be actually one and the same I don't need I can't say anything for certain Yeah, I guess I'm going to look at her and be like, you. I'm going to need some of your blood right this second. I'm not asking, but this is the best you're going to get for an ask. What, for like tracking purposes? I, I mean, hey. Just, I, well, I, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, not for you. If you're a clone, then your blood is her blood. He has like a little bit of a face. Oh. That's, that's that's clever. Brilliant. Okay. Um. Oh gosh. Hang on. Magic for duplicating yourself was still fairly in infant. Uh, when I lost touch with reality, so this is this is all exciting. She is. Uh, do you have a? I'm sure if you're. Doing stuff with blood, you have a vial. I can. Well, I can't Ready. say it's going to be pleasant. I'll take a deep breath and sheath my sword and draw a dagger instead. <laughs> I think Just... he was asking for a vial. To vial. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of character. I'm not. I'm doing the brand of uh, castigation. Oh, uh, what? It, it's a. Uh... Six level when it, whenever, whenever you damage a creature with a weapon that has an active rights, uh, I can know the direction of the branded creature for as long as it's on the same plane as me. Oh. How long? What's the duration? And as long as they act, uh, the right is active, I believe. Yep, until oh, you dismiss yeah. it or until you, apply, and, uh, until you apply the brand to another creature. So is the idea that if you brand her... If she's the only one... That's either it might her, ping multiple people. That's what I'm looking for. That's interesting. She goes, oh, this better not scar. <laughs> she rolls well, her I can, sleeve up. I can, I, can, I can help you if it does. Yeah, we have plenty of healing around. Arm. She goes, wait, wait, wait. And she, can you stick the knife this way, please? And not stab me. 
real quick. <laughs> she waits for you to do so. <laughs> and then for your personal preference, since I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, she cold or hot. She snaps her fingers and takes her finger along the edge of the knife with a little fire. <laughs> Just hot, I guess, since I'm doing this already. She there, sterile. Okay, okay. I'm not I'm not gonna look. Just just do it quick. <laughs> I will also grab a vial just for good measure. Uh, I will lay on hands as soon as he's done. <laughs> so I will just cause damage mm -hmm. and also activate the uh, both my Crimson Rite and also the uh, Brand of Castigation. So mm -hmm. I'm going to have to do a roll some okay. self-damage real fast. I will not heal either. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stab you later. <laughs> Oh, no. Ooh, that's that's the opposite of what that you usually roll. That actually might be the most damage I've ever taken <laughs> from a fucking crap. Yeah, suit. I think that adds up to like all of your other ones combined. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> so yes, that will. I guess that. I guess that technically that will cause her the dagger damage plus heat damage. Yeah, that would be mi minimal damage on the dagger unless you're attempting to uh, fully uh, wound. <laughs> can, I will control myself today. Okay. Oh my so, god. <laughs> was that? That's going to end up being like 1d6 of fucking heat damage and I guess 1 damage of just... Yeah. 1 1 damage from the dagger and then the heat. Oh no. Well, I'm <laughs> I'm I'm lay on hands and not immediately. <laughs> She's fine. You watch I'm... you watch as the the brand appears upon her the the uh <clears throat> form of the the three heads of the hydra. It spreads across her. You, you heal her. She kind of <clears throat> she winces from it. Um, Ivar, do me a favor and don't move because honestly, I don't get to do this too frequently. Then I guess I'm gonna concentrate and figure out where the brand's got, where I can sense the brand in directions of. All right, it just says the dire uh, direction of. If that somehow works... <laughs> you sense one in front of you. Oh, no. Duh. One very far north. Two to southwest. What? So, four total. Four total. That's not good. I guess I'm just gonna furrow my brow in absolute... Anger and disgust, and disgust, and then also reveal that that there's at least four, three elsewhere, one here. They will all have the same blood. Four, and I am healing her. Mm -hmm. You watch as the the brand sort of fights oh, against the the yeah, magic. Before Willow heals, I'm gonna also collect a quick uh, droplet of blood if I can. Yeah, or not Willow. I'm sorry, Betty. Uh, Who am I to you? I don't know. <laughs> one one of the like. things. <laughs> one of the things. One of the women. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I know. I'm joking. Well, this is all turning out to be quite interesting, isn't it? Not the way I... I don't know. I figured for, for, perhaps there's a bit of sand in her head like mine, but... This is but think about old. it. We have a direct lead. Because if nothing else, one of these clones, we'll say clones for now. I don't <laughs> know. Maybe it is genuine Just, daughters I'd, somehow. Let's, let's I don't daughters. like the term clones. Just say sisters. I Sure. One of these sisters was responsible for dropping her off, which means she received her from somewhere. Who would that be but Ren and Dula? Someone, I do not One of these four <laughs> is in direct contact with her, or at least was. Or at least three, because cause four is in front of us. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no, we're also out of character, obviously making the assumption that she's not playing games right now. 
Uh, I mean, I saw her memories. I'm yeah. gonna choose to believe it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna choose to believe it because Willow is a trusting person. <laughs> mm, Ivar will be skeptical. Yeah, Ivar can choose to be skeptical all he wants. Mm -hmm. Betty doesn't know what's going on. It's very interesting. She does. Very interesting uh, situation we found ourselves in. Uh, do I? Is it just is it just direction or also distance on that on that read? Uh, does it actually say? What is I believe it? it just says direction. Where is it? Blood hunt. You always know the direction to the branded creature for as long as it's on the same plane as you. Yeah. Until yeah. I choose to dispel it. Or it's been dispelled by dispel magic or... Yeah. And it's treated as a fifth level spell. Okay. So... so um, I'm not yeah. sure if the other well, ones are aware of this either. Well, uh, no, they probably wouldn't be. But because their blood is so similar... Yeah, one one to almost the dead north of here, and uh, to the southwest. Wait, uh, so if we're reading this right, in, unless you, if you never use this feature again, this is just always on. Unless it gets dispelled, yeah. You always know the direction to the branded creature as long as it's on the same plane as you. Further, each time the branded creature deals damage, this is irrelevant. Your brand I've lasts the, until yeah, you I've, dismiss I've... it. Or until you use this feature to apply a brand to another creature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your brand can be dispelled with dispel magic and is treated as a spell of a level equal to half your blood hunter level, maximum of ninth. Wow. Yeah. This just is on. Yeah. Now. Uh, damn. I mean, it makes sense for a blood hunter. You have a permanent radar. Oh. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> that is the bet. That is a fantastic never had a good use opportunity of that. To use it. Yeah. And now you've used it, and it's amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's it so because I was sitting here thinking like, oh man, how are we gonna move with this? Like, shit, dude. Well, I mean, to be fair, southwest and north doesn't mean just in Vandash. Well, she could no, be all so the way in Zadjwath kind of, if we don't. It like, is you also know. permanent, so as we move. Yeah. Oh yeah, but I'm just saying this is this is not Yeah. This is a like, worldwide venture. This is better than we had. Yeah. We can technically use um depending on how far we move, uh a map to actually pinpoint exactly where they are. Mhm. Mm Cuz if we draw a line directly north of us and then when we're at the bubble draw another line, we just go to where it intersects. Uh, I don't want to... Uh, I forgot that that's how directions work here. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was a rather productive meeting. <sighs> so? Well... At the very least, you got to meet your imaginary friend. Can I, I have a request after all this um, uh, potential trauma. <laughs> Certainly. Of course. And she looks at Willow. Can I hug you? Because I feel like I don't believe you're real still. Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> Gives you a and what Willow Willow would go in for the hug. Okay. It gives you a uh, like a proper hug. Mm. I don't like that I know this. And she like pulls away from the hug. Okay, okay, you're real. Um, I'm not crazy. Or at least, or I'm super crazy, and uh, I was able to imagine a hug, okay? Uh, I've gotten used to not being taken seriously, so I understand. <laughs> so honestly, with a group of people in this room, you're probably the least crazy. 
I would say that's accurate. <sighs> well, is it about time we get going? Head to the end? Perhaps. We've, uh, contracted ourselves some work, or are about to. I'm extremely hesitant to leave this one here out of her sight. One of four is still a quarter. I am not going anywhere. This is my place of business. Well, that's not true. I will be leaving here to go to my home, but this is my place of business, and I continue... I wish to continue to work here, and I will uh, not stop doing so until I am bored of making art. So... The rest of you have a lovely day. Uh, please come back. Uh, I don't know, maybe play dragon chess or cards or whatever. And if this one decides to, when she looks over at Ivar, stop um, being so threatening, uh, you can come back too. We'll see. You don't have to. Tr you don't have to trust me, but I assure you, I am not an evil. Well, I'm not an evil, evil wizard. I am a wizard. He was like this when he found out my tutelage. <laughs> Except that I was a lot closer to the knife. Well, that's unfortunate, but. Uh, Consider yourself lucky you actually didn't get bloodletted for it. I have a question. Mm. How much to commission a cup from you? A, a, a cup? Like, a cup. A, a what? Uh, I have a very specific design. <laughs> you have a very specific design. If you she could would pull out a piece of paper and not show it to anyone, and I think Brandon knows what it is. <laughs> oh no! Is it the pineapple? <laughs> is it a pineapple roast? Um, make me a pineapple. Roast. Either a sleight of hand or a performance check to show mm, how two or plus four. Let's go plus four. How detailed you can get with this. I did it! <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be some crayon drawn shit. Absolutely. She looks at it and she goes, um <laughs> I don't know if it'll hold any liquid, but I could certainly give it a try. Oh this Oh my god, is Betty making Garbo mug? <laughs> she goes uh, you, if you could be so kind as to wait here, um, I'm going to. I'll be. I'll be right back. Uh, Betty, can you come with me, please, for fun? I I go with her. Mm. <laughs> she has you go up to this um like beautiful U shaped studio, um uh, no. that has these massive. Uh, the the second floor is like nearly twice as tall as the first floor. Um, think. There's like at the moment there are seven statues about the like like the size of of David. Oh wow! Uh, of um, different rulers that have like commissioned art, works of art. It looks like it can't Which... all be done in uh, done in a single go. <laughs> Which rulers? Um, you can't tell at the moment. Most of these ones are are up to the waist, uh, or. Or higher, um, make me make me a history check. Plus Some of them four to that now. Yeah. Yay! Because I got the piety shawl or whatever. Oh, plus one, so nine. <laughs> Do you have no clue? <laughs> it's a lot of boots. One of them's wearing a dress, but they're like leg up, like sort of Captain Morgany. Yeah. Um. But these are like. I like it. Yeah. They're, they're, these are like twelve foot statues. Um. That are being. They're in the middle of construction. She's like, 
I can only stretch stone so far, so I do need to um, actually have stone that I can mold. Um, but uh, please, uh, can we, uh, if you can stand right here, um, and there's eight plates in front of you. Is this mm -hmm. polished sheen um, plates of stone? Just okay. Choose one of these, and I'll make your. Uh, I'd work best with these mediums. So, if you want something else, I can certainly help make it. Uh, I can't do precious metals; they don't stretch well. Um, oh, you can accent cool. things with precious metals, but. I will pick a. Uh, I will. I will pick one of them. I, I imagine they're sim all the same, different. They're all. They're all different colors. They're. They're like a. A bus. Like a. Like a. Like a midnight black stone to a basalt to like a, a medium gray all the way up to say, a. They're um, like a white speckled. Um. Yeah. There's. There's a marble. Uh, okay. I'll go with the marble. Yeah. There's a, like a classical white marble with the like striations in it of yeah. the light gray. Um, and she uh, pulls from it she pushes her hand to it there's a small flash of the green light from her eyes and she raises her hand and uh, if ever a child's rendition of Spongebob's house was was born for on this plane of existence. <laughs> a spiky, like Sonic the Hedgehog going fast orb is br brought into existence. Uh, the line at which the like top and bottom separate is is pretty clean, and it sits well. There's no. Cl Clatter as it moves around. Mm -hmm. It should hold liquid. She made the wall thick enough. <laughs> but it looks less like a pineapple and more like the cartoon rendition of somebody throwing a baseball and doing like speed lines around it. <laughs> <laughs> Betty looks at that for a second. She's half impressed that she was able to identically replicate the drawing. She'd be like, "If I, this one's on the house, I'll say that. Uh, it doesn't stand up." Hang up. And she like rubs the bottom of it. It's not exactly how you drew it, but it should stand up now. Hopefully, um, Betty just looks at it. She's like, "This is this is lovely." <laughs> If you can find a way to give me an image of something that you truly want me to create, I will happily I mean, do honestly, so. Honestly, if you just know what a pineapple looks like, that's that's really. Oh, that was a pineapple. <laughs> oh, Betty looks defeated. <laughs> I I thought it was one of those little seeds that falls out of trees that has a little furry that hair. <laughs> um. Looks to the ground. You watch. She Damn. takes the same thing and does the same <laughs> circle motion. You watch as a marble pineapple appears. <laughs> Fucking brutalized. And it's it's so weird. It has that like that strenuation from where like the between the the berries has a, that indent and the the color changes slightly. And you can see like the individual lines that come up to the little, uh, little curls at the end of each of the berries, and then you know, the, you you're afraid to move the top with the like the leaves coming upward because you feel like you could shake your hand through it, but it's they're solid. <laughs> and you feel like you'd snap them off because they're so thin. Patty just takes like holy fuck. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yes. You got what you wanted. <laughs> she takes the other one. Do you want this one? Honestly, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll, you know, I don't want to take the fucking material from you because no, you are. 
You're all right. Uh, <laughs> next time, if you wish a proper statue, you can. Uh, I'll happily take the commission from you. But for now, this is a sample of what I can do. Um, Betty, Betty's, Betty's going to commission a gigantic statue of herself. I Betty know would it. give her a hug and say, well, when we get a new ship, I'll, uh, I'll talk about getting the uh, figurehead. Oh my god! <laughs> a figurehead? Just the same thing. <laughs> Interesting. It's going to be so front-heavy. <laughs> I have to make it hollow, but I, I could do that. Um, I think you're probably the best person to ask. I was the only person. Okay, interesting. I've never. Hmm. That's a. You guys are full of strange ideas. I, I like <laughs> you. Not normal. Oh. Yay! We made a friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most but of I guess... us. Well, most of us did. I've already yeah. made made an acquaintance. <laughs> <laughs> I, I give her a hug. <laughs> Yay! Mm, All right. Okay, I think we've husband. we've taken up enough of her time. <laughs> I think we should. Head on out. I take my I take my my beautiful mug and my shitty mug and put the <laughs> shitty mug in the backpack and I carry around the nice mug. Be, before we leave, to say when I am positive you have a fucking compass on you. Uh, I don't Betty, probably knows. Betty probably Betty probably would. I don't. Oh, which yeah, Betty's our navigator. No, oh, then she's Betty, I suppose. Betty would give it to you begrudgingly. Mm-hmm. I would like to take the uh, compass and pretty much spin in a circle, marking down the other three compass directions from this location. So, the one to the north is by themselves. The two are exactly the same direction, to the southwest. Well, I can redo those Likely together. Later. Potentially one just further than the other, but likely together. I I I had a realization as we were mm -hmm. talking, and I typed that realization in the in the the game chat. Yeah. But the lovers' cave is to the southwest of here, and the uh the hand cave is to the far north in Aacross. Oh, you know what? That's another good question. Are any of these caves in line with those compass directions? Um, without having the full map that's on your table, uncertain, but in, in so far. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I like, I like Hessel's triangulation idea. Yeah. The triang the triangulation idea is a good idea. Yeah, because we know, if nothing else, we are currently, we are currently here. Yes. Yeah. So whenever we get back to our ship, we can draw a straight line. Yeah. We know at some point we're going here. Yeah. yeah. If we draw lines at this point, we can we can figure out exactly where these overlap. Yeah. Yeah. The only caveat would be if any of them are moving. Yeah. Like a ship bound, but mm -hmm. it's worth yeah. a shot. I have an addition to this idea. Okay. Since we have a vial this blood, I'm assuming it's not a crazy amount. No, I'm just um uh, like uh what would that be like? I don't know. Maybe, maybe like a teaspoon. <laughs> sure. Would it be unreasonable to send this to another blood hunter some other distance away and use that triangulation that way? <gasps> Wait, we don't know. We don't know where uh, Remus or yeah, we don't know. We don't know where he's stationed, but he's stationed far away. Well, but at the same time, you what wanna... you did was not didn't use the blood, you used the brand, right? Mm, part of blood magic, magic which is, is why I got blood. some. But to apply, f for the same thing, to use the same mechanic, the other blood hunter would also have to have, have applied this brand. Uh, if you, if you, uh, uh, hey, uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, I, I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm going through like 15 thoughts in my head right now. Uh, the answer Saber, is if you sending. tell Willow about this, there, I, there is, there is a method that we can do to. I mean, I'm to get your absolutely, answer. yeah, I'm absolutely saying this out loud as character because it's kind of like so, uh, trying to try. And I could, I could help you ask him. 
Um, I mean, is this the same thing that happened when you got arrested? Yes, except uh, I'm not under <laughs> constant supervision are we, anymore. Are we really gonna ask this woman to sit here while we summon another blood hunter to put <laughs> no, a brand on her? No, I'm talking about later. I'd ha I have to go prepare the spell, and, and also it only works if the person's sleeping. Betty just drinks out of a pineapple mug. <laughs> we, we should. You fill it with pineapple juice. Yeah, I bought, she, she I bought puts a, way too She much puts a handle right. on the good one. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I oh. bought way too much because I thought this journey was going to take a lot longer. So just just, just have, to have to use it up. Think <laughs> of it. Think of the good one as like a like a pineapple stein. Is the best <laughs> way I can describe it. So she like attached That's to the back. Pretty dope, actually. <laughs> Uh, as we all, like, search fall out the door, Will is going to be the last one to leave. Uh, Rena, if you need absolutely anything at all, even unrelated to this, please reach out. Yes, I... I'll let you know how I can cast Sending, so... Excellent. And, uh, I will... Shut the door on my way, mm -hmm. and uh... yeah. She... Russell, independent of this, is sending her a mental message, uh -huh. more or less saying the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, adding an addendum that we'll be in town for a few days, and I'm sure Willow will keep her up to date. <laughs> However, if she wants to see this journey herself, the Maelstrom's Mall is docks on the east side of town. <laughs> Oh, this God. is a Dude, no. She's like the strongest NBC we have. This is, oh no, this is a horrible idea. <laughs> she's easily the strongest NPC we've met. We have Atanos. We do have Atanos. <laughs> okay. We're okay. There is a conversation that is gonna have to happen now. <laughs> Let's say I won't tell you right now, but what level do you think <laughs> Rena is? Well, if she, what, what level is stone shape? If we just want to off the rip, what level is stone shape? Is that six? Six. I think she's high level. I would, unless her I would, being so specialized means she's allowed to do stuff at lower levels. Who knows? I would say she, at most, is like a level higher than Willow. <laughs> I'm gonna guess like thirteenth. For seventh level, we'll find out. Brandon, oh, I thought I was going to say. I just uh, wanted to hear. We'll what find you... out because she's absolutely joining us on her ship. <laughs> mm. And yeah, she's, probably, uh, probably she's not. She's got powerful she's got a pretty combative sweet, force. She's got a pretty sweet deal here, <laughs> and with the exception of her fucking asshole neighbor. Yeah, I don't know what's up with her. <laughs> Uh, uh, just old people raging things, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people. Well, uh, did we pass any West Wind? Um, yeah. not yeah. yet. Here? I, yeah, you, you have not seen any. Okay. If we do go to the capital, though, I'm sure they'd have them. I have three pineapple mugs. Two. How did this happen? <laughs> How did it end up like this? It was only a All mug. To the end. It was only a mug. To the end. All right. You all. There's an inn, there's an inn, there's a merry old inn. You all make your way following the path, uh, heading north to the Silken Embrace. A. Uh, you come to uh, this lovely uh, dark painted long house. Um, it stretches for it probably takes up about four of the other regular buildings in the area of of space. This long uh, two and a half story building um, with this like sectioned roof. Um, but uh, <clears throat> you come to the 
square that sits out front of this, and, and there, there are people chatting in and out. It definitely seems like um, uh, one of those inns that people come to after, like, a, or a, a tavern that people come to eat at after, like, a long day's work sort of situation, which about now with that conversation, um, adjusting for time weirdness stuff, magic, uh, probably about 435 right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, you just see this, this comfy looking, uh, warm in surrounded by a lot of people. <laughs> Warm and surrounded by what? Lots of lots of people. Ah. <laughs> you know, some people are just sitting outside, like eating at the the the, the square. <laughs> um, eating tavern food outside. It smells delicious. Uh, sort of just like. Uh, fried meats and potatoes sort of smell. <laughs> um, you all enter. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you uh, push the, the double doors open to uh, enter uh, and see this um, long uh, this is like reddish uh, blue flamed fire pit in the middle of the room that's sort of just gently warming the, the entirety of the place. Um, tables and, and chairs of assorted shapes and, and sizes sit around the edge. Um, and you see uh, a set of uh, or, or uh, a staff of Almost entirely uh, drow workers in these uh, cute little, um, I wouldn't call them quite maid outfits, um, but definitely that style that, that like, um, they're a little, they're a little frilly, they're a little, they're clearly uniforms, uh, mm. they're, they're definitely played up, they, uh, and as you look at them, they're closer to, like, Somewhere between like a ball gown and towards like a gothic nurse. <laughs> I see. <laughs> this is weird visual. But they're all walking around is, with these like. Uh, have you ever seen the music video for Helena? But yes, uh, yes, that is yeah, that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that, that's what I started thinking about, and I was like, okay, I understand. Yeah. This. They're not like they're not they're not like sexualized in any way, but it's definitely strange. <laughs> yeah, it's like um, you know, the, the these long like skirts that go down to just uh just above like where like a boot would sit, um, mm. and just you know, they're all walking around taking people's orders, uh, taking people's like you know. Orders at the bar. Um, some of them are walking. You, you see a couple of them walking up the stairs, arm in arm, with what look like uh, like uh, people that are going to uh, spend the night here. Um, uh, everyone else here seems pretty relaxed. All right. Anyone remember the name we're looking for? As I scroll up and chat. Laedra. <laughs> Laedra. Laedra. That's it. All right. To the bar. Mm-hmm. And there's a. Out of all of the inns you've been to, this is this one rivals some of the bigger bars in the amount of people that are are working at them. There's probably nearly 30 of these women in, in uniform. Um, 
No, oh, and it's a, it's a it is a big long house like long house, um, but still, <laughs> like uh, it's crowded. It's Got it. Crowded, and there's probably a hundred people sitting places. Oh, um, okay, yeah. So, but uh, and people are clambering to get in, sort of, or you know, eat the food and flirt with these these women, but. Who are who are as Grim informed us absolutely not escorts yes. and should not be treated as such yes. because they will stab you. Yes. <laughs> um, but as you approach the bar, you have to wait a moment uh, before it finally gets to <clears throat> finally gets to uh, your turn to. to <laughs> line up and uh, the uh, <clears throat> drow woman sitting there. She flips to a new page on her little uh, <clears throat> her little booklet. And says, Good evening. What can we get for you? Well, I could certainly use a connection. <laughs> I'm looking for Ladra. She makes the face. She goes, I believe, and as she's saying that, um, you see walking down the stairs in a very similar attire, but much more regal, wearing a, a, like a lot of uh, black and gold jewelry, um, sort of like a princess tiara, um, walking elegantly down the stairs. And Miss Ladra is right there. Um, and she seems to be making a, a, a line towards you all. <laughs> oh, no. I think she might have heard of us. <laughs> I... Yeah. As she gets close, she goes, I had a feeling someone was coming for me. I got dressed. Are you the ones who are looking for me? Well, we certainly are. He turns on the spot. Come with me. I feel our conversation is not for the public. And she, like, as she walks up, she, like, does a little, like, that royal, like, queen wave to people and, like, reaches out hands to people that are, like, walking by and sort of, she just, like, gently rubs their hands as she walks are, by. Are people receptive to this? Or is yes. they kind of just, like, going yes. along with Yes, no. It? Absolutely. Okay. People are like, yeah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, some dude's like, don't you touch my hand! Yeah! <laughs> <clears throat> Um, 